Thank you very much for tuning in to the latest episode of the Days We Podcast. I want to thank all of our YouTube members, our Patreons, as well as our donators for all of the support. I want to thank Florida AF, Big Dog, Shane Murphy, Tank Desert, Hawks Hammer, and Mark Godfrey, as well as Red Freedom M3739 for their support. I also want to thank all of our YouTube members for their support. Kenny Baker, King Alabar, Cinnamon, Muddy Trek Links, Jake Azira Cool, Raymond Normoyle, Matt Z, and Mark and P2 for all of their support. Really, really do appreciate all the help that you guys give and all the feedback that you have. I hope you all have a pleasant day and I hope you enjoy this episode of the Daisy Podcast. You take care. Hello there. It is I. <laughs> Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? Thank you very much for coming to episode 113 of the DayZ podcast. Dump, Lemons, how are you guys doing today? Not too bad. Good. I can't believe it's already 113 though, that is, it's been so fast. I know, it's, like... it's, <laughs> it's mad, it is actually really mad <laughs> so far, it's crazy, absolutely crazy. Yeah. Yeah, shut up, DOJ. I know, shut up. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> Dump, how are you doing, my guy? You just quickly restarted your PC. You had some trouble there? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Yeah, I just had to restart real quick. Yeah, it's all good, man. Well, that's good. I'm really, really happy that you both are here this time. Last two weeks were a bit spicy, <laughs> to say the least. But I am really, really glad just that you... Just, 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 just a just a <laughs> you know, Canada got knocked it back into the bloody Victorian era, and Dump, you yep. had some uh, private, um, you know, f family stuff going on, and that's fan Dabby Dozy. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, and your yeah, my dad away. says hi, everybody. <laughs> nice. 24 7, all the time. <laughs> Based. <laughs> But yes, we are back for episode 113. I hope everyone has had a wonderful week. I hope everyone's had a really, really good time. And I hope that you're going to tolerate us for the next two and a half hours, if that. <laughs> but Hopefully. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be <laughs> fine. But once again, the Daisy team streamed and I goddamn missed it because I was at work. <laughs> Gits. Like a nerd. Like an, oh, oh yeah, just, you know, getting an income, you know, <laughs> what are you, this yeah. nerd? Ima imagine gathering an income to keep yourself going. Who I know, does that? Right? It's, it's 2022, know. man, like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Paying your bills? What the drum, fuck? Not a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But I've managed to catch a little bit of the VOD, maybe about half of it, and there are some really interesting stuff. Um, that happened. But Dump, uh, you watched pretty much all of it, didn't you? Yes. Yes. And okay. what about you? What about yourself, Lemons? Did you watch any of it, or? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. I watched the I watched the parts that mattered. Uh, so. Oh. so... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, before we continue on, DLJ, um, Derleth, Gulzi, King Alabar. And Marcin, thank you very much for coming into the show. I really do appreciate all the love and support. Thank you. Um, but yes, so... 119. Uh -huh. it, it's, it's coming a little bit later than some people might have thought, which, to be fair... We did kind of speculate on that in a few, what, a few weeks... A few, week, uh, a few weekends ago. Um, yep. It does start to seem like the end of August is starting to become a more realistic date, which is great. I'm really excited. Um, but what were the things that they uh, that they did cover, Dump? Uh, so they first started the stream, full disclosure, that there were no major announcements. They weren't giving out any details, but some things were either purposely said or let slip. I'm not sure. Mm. But uh, they did say that, uh, like Vlad said, 1.19 is coming, but they are doing a major... It's going to be a major update, and that because of that, they're going to be pushing. Uh, it's going to be probably a little bit later than the last couple updates. Which yes. honestly, it sounds like they're returning to regular on um, you know it's kind of regular update times. Mm -hmm. uh, they also did mention a lot of people are going on vacation, so that's also why it's going a little bit further back. People want to see families, you know, all that kind of jazz. You know, I'm I'm guilty of that. Um, and uh, pretty cool. Uh, again, it was not meant to be an announcement uh, stream, but it, no. we did get some details like that. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's that is really really good. I know that um, 
it's it's honestly I think it's a really good idea that they do take the time with the major update. We did kind of theorize as the year went on that they may be yeah. doing the same process as last year. Where it's like three ma- three minor, one major, and then one minor. Um, I think that's a really really good idea, and they definitely need to keep this update really well in the oven. Um, one seventeen and one eighteen. We've been talking about quick. before too, you know, just mm. making sure. It gets released with with everything tested and ready to go and stuff yes. because we've seen before what can happen if it just gets released, you know. Oh yes, so, absolutely. I mean, yeah. one eighteen. Making sure it's yeah. One one eighteen was a an interesting update and probably one of the few yeah. updates that's actually had a update within the update, not like a hot fix, but like a eight one eighteen point one patch, I guess you could say. I think we discussed that either last week or the week before. I'm not too sure. Um, but it is good. It is good. Um, yeah. But I'm I am excited. And one thing I did catch was they start talking about the vehicle systems. Now, we all know how difficult development can be. And it's completely understandable that they're waiting a little bit more. They're doing a lot of closed tests. They've kind of announced that already. Um, they, I did notice that they did talk about how they had a whole bunch of cars in one location and none of them flew everywhere, which is exciting. But they said something that actually really surprised me. I genuinely thought that the only thing that would be affected was the back end. We wouldn't notice any difference. But they pretty much confirmed that, no, there will be a difference. Now, what do you guys think on that? Uh, well, first off, I want to answer Ghoul Z's question uh, thing there. Uh, Ghoul Z, uh, there is a full feedback tracker made by BI. Um, it, Twitter isn't the only way to report bugs to them. Uh, so that might be a good thing for you to uh, start using if you want to report bugs properly. Yeah, that's it. Um, as far as the whole uh, vehicles, possibly for client side, getting a slight overhaul, uh, I would say it might be interesting because oil might return. We might see other mechanics return to vehicles, mm. such as like, uh, well, wear and tear. We were talking about this, uh, I don't know, probably like eight weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Animals and infected should damage vehicles. I don't care if it's to the core engine or if it's to the parts of the engine. Running over things should hurt the car yes. in some regard. Some um, feedback, at least. Yeah, at right. Least, something, yeah. right? Something can make you worried about hitting an infected. You know, whether it wears on the tires, the engine parts, or the car itself, something to do that. Uh, or even th- infected being able to attack your car would be a bonus. But oil and other things, yes, it might make it sound a little bit more complicated, but it also makes it so cars are har- farther, not, not only harder to get, but they're also more valuable. Yes. Um, because right now, um, on an official server, from what I agree, the um, getting together a vehicle, while it is a challenge, once you have a vehicle, getting together another vehicle and another vehicle becomes almost a cakewalk. Yes. Um, and that's even on official. So I hope they add in more cool things. Also, what would be cool is to see other things like passengers being able to access their inventories or... Mm-hmm. Maybe even uh, being able to uh, have maybe like a reworked interior of some of these vehicles because that would be a pretty cool thing. Imagine some of these vehicles going from the, uh, I think, 1K resolution they are up to like 2K to even 4K. Mm -hmm. That would be actually really cool. Get to see all the dials and details. I mean, if you look at uh, mods like Expansion with the helicopters or even uh, Red Falcons, you can see all the dials moving and stuff. It's so immersive, so much fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I personally, I don't think that the new vehicle system will cover that. But if not, then there's always there is always a point for modders to take care of that, which is great. I'm surprised no one's actually done like a high def version, high def models on some things. But then again, does it really need it? Probably for some assets, actually. But I'm I am actually really interested because when when they said that the vehicle physics are going to get changed, obviously we all knew what that meant. But when they said that vehicles will actually feel a bit different, it kind of got me thinking because the reforged vehicles, at least when I've drove them, they're fun. They're really really nice to to drive, and they feel very responsive. And they've got weight to them, like an actual clunky weight. Daisy vehicles, they they do have a weight to them. But they feel 
weightless in a sense. So I think it's really, really interesting that they're, they're, they are going through that route. And I can't wait to see that happens. And I know people's been speculating, oh, we're, we're going to get new vehicles, we're going to get this, that, and the other. Yeah. I know we've kind of speculated on bikes before. I think we talked about it a little bit, Lemons, last week. I'm not too sure if we will get bikes. Someday. Someday, Someday. they'll come. You know. But they they have said... Um, they have said... You know, we may we may not, and that's honestly, that's perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine. If we don't, that's okay because the main thing I want them to focus on is stability, and that's that, that's the main thing I want. There's yeah. honestly so much potential of the game, but it's just it's polishing it and making sure it's in a proper state to build off that foundation, you know, and build mm-hmm. off of the groundwork, so they can do amazing things. So they they have a lot of things they want to do. But if they're building on something that's broken, it's not going to get them anywhere, you know? Well, so. that's it. I mean, they they also pretty much confirmed that Daisy will never go to full infusion for the exact reasons yep. that we talked about on the show, why they wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. When I heard that, I was like, you know what? It feels so good to be right. But <laughs> not to take my like, own. Or like, well, yeah, I actually got right for what I tell you. But... No, but without being a bit too cocky, it wasn't a surprise that they did say that. So it is very important that they stabilize it t- properly for both PC and console um, in order yeah. to create more of a foundation because it is going. It is obviously split split off. So it's got to make sure that it is going to continue being a valid platform to use and to create content and to just play the bloody game. You know, um, just just a matter of making use of what they got as well. You know, like we've said in pr- uh, prior episodes. The Infusion um, RV engine, like the hybrid, mm. has so much potential. And if they oh, continue absolutely. to work with that yeah. and build off of it, they could do so many things. I mean, look at the stuff that's been accomplished in Arma 3 and Arma 2. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's there's so much, there's so much that can be done. And there's so many good things that can be done. And if they just kind of nurture it and work with it and get it to grow, I think that we could mm-hmm. be seeing a lot of cool and unique features that we wouldn't have seen prior come into the absolutely. game. So, now, yeah. now, the big question is, though, Will we get a post one nineteen, or will not one nineteen be that one? What do you mean? Will one nineteen come with the vehicle physics, or will we get? I'd, a like, I'd like to think so. Yeah, I'd like to think so. Yeah, I say I think so because they they mentioned they're taking their time, and then I think it was one point seventeen. They did tell us that they were sorry they couldn't put the vehicle physics in that need more testing. Mm-hmm. So two updates later, and it being delayed not only because of summer, but also because they're trying to get it right. And like um, Summerack said, I think that's important to note that that might be the reason why we'll probably get it. Mm, that's very true. They have always said that the new vehicle physics will come in a separate branch or anything like that. So it would make sense that it would come in the experimental branch. And then we can, you know, I I know for a fact, though, that it is going to break pretty much probably every vehicle mod known to mankind. Oh, yeah, every mod. Absolutely. Yeah. So, but it also might bring too, a lot yeah. of things that vehicle modders want. A lot of vehicle yeah. modders are very limited. Mm. I'm wondering if the polish to vehicle physics will also affect other phys- physics related things. How AI will get launched into the air sometimes and land on rooftops, falling against something, etc. Honestly, I don't think they're going to update any of animations like that. No. I don't think they will. I don't think, I think that's more of just a geometry thing i don't think that's more uh, i don't think that's actually the physics with the vehicles but if they were to bring more stuff from infusion that would be, that would be pretty cool but i don't think they've really communicated that yet for the public at sometimes, least sometimes i would say if we're going to get anything that like affects other stuff it would be a total overhaul of the physics engine for daisy itself but i don't I- think that's going to happen no, not 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 at all. I, I think that that ship is sailed. The roadmap showed a vehicle in Livonia One Nineteen. Uh, sorry, One Nineteen is the big Livonia update. So car engine should arrive as well. Mm, I don't know anything about new vehicles. To be fair, I mean I know there's rumors about the transit bus, but there's nothing to really solidify that we, coming. We've, we've kind of debunked that before. We yeah. in our past episodes we kind of debunked that. So, but it would be but. interesting if we are wrong. If there's one thing that I I do enjoy. Um, 
doing the show is when we talk about a subject and we know we say, oh, this isn't coming, and then it turns out, oh, it is. Fair enough. I'll hold my hands and be like, you know what? That's pretty cool. Um, Insider source. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I know that um, they have really hyped up 119. They've really hyped it. And you know what? You know, if the guys are watching, I do hope that... Um, I do hope that they actually do something really good with it. I really, really do. Imagine owning the IP to one of the most influential game, uh, games of the decade and keeping it on life support instead of giving it the attention it deserves. Can you clarify on that? Because the game gets solid updates every year. So, it, unless you say give it to modders, then no, don't do that. Ever. Please don't. As a modder, don't do it. <laughs> uh, but it, it, I do think, though, that if they do decide to bring out a new vehicle with the update, with the vehicle's physics and vehicle systems, it's a smart move. Now, I, I noticed your wrath. Don't worry, I noticed you. But um, <laughs> but we'll, we'll just have to see what happens. I do think that they should bring out a military vehicle. Um, and well, another one because the the truck is um, classed as one. Technically, um, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not too sure. We will want... just have to see what it does come out. I do want to make sure people probably understand this. If they bring out ve military vehicles, you're probably not going to get any weaponry on them, or no. even the ability to shoot at them or anything. They're literally going to just be like civilian vehicles that maybe handle better or do better, but like it's still going to be what we already have with vehicles. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What would be interesting, hear me out, what would be interesting is if we saw maybe more off-road options, because for off-road, really, all we have right now is the Ada, you know? That's the only vehicle that can really do any of that. So it'd be cool if we could see that, or even amphibious vehicles, you know? Maybe not in deep water, but in some of those rivers, you could totally stall an engine out if you're driving like an Olga or a Sarka or something like that. So mm. if we could have like a more amphibious vehicle that can, is well, more, is more well versed with the environment, mm -hmm. I think that'd be pretty cool, or like some sort of militarized vehicle, like that, just a, like a BDRM or something like that would be pretty cool. You know, yeah. be really funny. And yeah, Daryl is right. The M3S is the king of the off road. Oh, it absolutely is. Quad bikes. <laughs> what if they decide? You know what? No, we're not going to do bikes. We're not going to do bicycles. We're going to do quad bikes instead. That would be so fun. Yeah. <laughs> That would be so fun. Yeah, Just imagine the trailer days. starting with like the Yellow <laughs> King squad, like going through the forests of Livonia, coming up to like some new area, like that 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 DLG Just the convoy. Wrong. Just a convoy of quad bikes. <laughs> oh man, that would be sick. Just to clarify, it's probably not going to happen, <laughs> but you never know. That would be sick. That would be absolutely sick. But going back to the stream, it was really nice to see Sumrak play the game. Uh, for everybody to see, I still don't know why he decided to carry the car radiator everywhere. Like, what's wrong with you, bro? Like, <laughs> it's the hardest one to find. <laughs> he found a car, and he didn't put it in. <laughs> like, wow. bro, what are you doing? What's wrong with you, Samurai? Seriously, bro. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, so it would oh be. Gosh. But it, it, I'm there, words, but yeah, with the rest of the stream, what else did they talk about? So, one big thing they did talk about is they did address the stuff that was going on with the bows and the crossbows and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they did explain that it's highly likely that it, that it won't be coming anytime soon. And the reason why is, it's, A, as we've already known, a lot of people are on vacation right now. There's not mm -hmm. enough resources or people to kind of do such a big thing. And B, it's just such a big thing to do. They were saying there's so many mechanics, so many different things that have to be accomplished before they could even try to do that. So. Honestly, I think they're lying. Oh. We've, really? We've, really? We've seen <laughs> in the past couple of updates that Bose textures models have been updated. The crossbow, for example, the red dot site works now. The holding animation works pretty nicely. I think they're lying to downplay what is coming. I could be wrong. I would like to be wrong. 
but well, I wouldn't like to be wrong. I'd like to be right this in this in this case. But I <laughs> yeah. is somebody okay. So I don't. I'm not one of these people who constantly go on about bores. Quite frankly, I couldn't care less. But when I see bullshit coming from the dev team, even in a joking way, I will call that out. I do think they are lying. Exactly. I don't think they want to talk about it until it's ready. I mean, I think, maybe I'm thinking, I'm thinking yeah. if they don't do it for 119, it'll come out in 120. And the reason why I think that is, is because in the last minor update for last year, what gun did they bring out? The Org, a fan favorite. Would it make yeah. sense to do that again? To, f to cap off the year? A fan favorite weapon that they've been climbing on about so long. I think they'll the do red that. nine. Uh, <laughs> the master said something interesting. Reminder: They updated the van textures, and we never got it. We also saw the gas mask respirator being added as an item years ago. So yes, but doesn't mean soon. It just means they worked on it. That's very true. That is very true. They have worked on stuff Fair in the point. past and then stopped. So. Again, I would like to be correct that they are lying, but if not, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly okay. Yeah. It, it, it would, would be a like great way. Too. That's yeah. been in the file since it, like 2015. Mm. It, it just would be a great way to finish the year of their so called civilian focus uh, <laughs> with uh, bows and crossbows. I that's say civilian true, yeah. focus because they put in a grenade launcher and a bunch of grenades. All of the like improvised explosives, they're, they're civilian because you know civilians can do that, but military grenades and stuff. That was, yeah, it's really awesome. Don't get us wrong, it is really awesome that we finally got that tech, but. Even, even the exactly... Bison, too. The only real non. or the only real civilian weapon we've gotten so far, or weapons, was the P1, the Longhorn, Long and the Savannah. But that's the only ones we've gotten. Everything else Derringers. has been military. So, that's true. Derringers. Sorry, the Derringer as well. The Derringer everybody, as well. everybody forgets the Derringer, but it's actually quite underrated. It's really underrated. Yeah, but, um, I'm really happy we got the grenade launcher and its animation. As a modder, I was thrilled. Just mm -hmm. Not necessarily in line with what they were saying civilian weapon wise. Abs no, no, obviously, yes. No, I, I understand the frustration there, but I, I do. I what what? Blah, 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 blah. Can't fucking talk. Blah, blah? Yeah, I should stop swearing on the stream. But <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> but yeah, the Derringer animation is hot, and this, and this is the thing. I, I, th I think 119 is going to be the best update they'll ever do. I mean, sure, the Toxic Zones was am was amazing. It was brilliant. And the hype that went around it, including from ourselves and the team, was just... Uh, it was great. It was so much fun trying to decipher, having a look and psychoanalyze with, like, quantum AI to try and figure out what the hell was going on. And, you know, we were kind of half, right? And it was great. So I do genuinely hope to do something like that again this year. I really, really do. I think it's yeah. going to be really cool. Speaking it's about being wrong, I was so like, Daisy will never introduce vanilla attack, a, a toxic zones. Nope. Just like my wife, Daisy smacked me and said, hey, watch me. <laughs> 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 oh! <my> oh. <laughs> Uh, speaking more about the stream, though, uh, there is one cool thing. I'm not sure if mm -hmm. you saw this, uh, Lemons, but they did kind of address the being able to get pushed under the map and swing. Yes, I did yes, see that. I did see that. that, yes. And it is, it actually surprised me because I didn't think they would address it because, unfortunately, the team has had a tendency in the past to not really address, like, the glaring issues publicly. Yeah. It's really awesome that they did address it. They said they are working on a fix. I've already come up with an idea. Ooh. Well, we all have. We've, we've all said it before yeah. on the show. If yeah. you log out on water, you die. You're dead. Simple it's, it's, as. It's that easy. <laughs> Simple I mean, people as. People have been wanting that anyway. Yeah. I mean, sure, it sucks if you swim to Scalisti or Prison Island or, you know, on the modded maps that you die. Um, if you log out of a server, you know, crashes or whatever else. It sucks, yes, but fuck you. 
<laughs> no, not, <laughs> not, who, not who, actually who, that. Not actually you. that. Not actually that. But yeah. it's being it, honest though. Who really logs off in the in the water though? Like I can count in my four thousand odd hours how many times I've logged out on water once, and that was a server crash. That was it. Exactly. So. Uh but it is interesting, folks, because they also did talk about a little bit about duping. They they didn't necessarily talk about it. They just kind of touched on it. And they say that they're still trying to tackle it. It has lots of uh, things, challenges, and other aspects that we do not mm. consider or know about. But the most important thing I would say for folks that are watching and people who will watch in the future uh, the video is the devs are listening. They are watching the feedback tra tracker. They are hearing it. It may take them a while to get to it, but it's they're looking at it. They're mm -hmm. caring. Well, that's it. Hey, Lemons, apparently you're in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I mean, it's in chat. Mm. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. um, we'll see that th they could relocate you, and, and that's the thing. If they detect that you are. Well, see, that's the thing, because if they detect. Maybe oh, if they like, come up like with a system. Safe zones. Not necessarily safe zones, no. but maybe they can detect if no, you no, are in no, no, the I mean, like the, I mean, like the toxic zones. Well, like the, the talking safe zones, how they teleport to those. A similar system, yes, but the question yeah. is, it, how would they calculate it? Would they calculate it based on coordinates within the within the main part of the map of, um, of sorry, oh. Trishan just completely caught us off off guard there. Of um, I've just lost my train of thought. God damn you, Trishan! Okay. Or remove the swimming animation well, from under the ground, and you just free fall to death. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's um, it's not. It's not their own thing. It's the way the maps are. There's mm -hmm. always a base water level. So if they were to remove the water level under the map, there'd be no water on the map at all. You know, mm -hmm. you yeah, know? Well, so there's no real way to get rid of it. The map itself is pure water no matter yeah. what. Um, but with the whole like toxic zone, safe zone thing, that actually is predefined coordinates. Mm -hmm. So you say there are all these safe zones, um, all, all these toxic zones, whether they're dynamic or they're uh, static. And then you put in coordinates inside of a file stating these are the toxic zones with bases or other exploits being done with this underwater mechanic you couldn't do that because you couldn't detect um know where every single base is ever going to be mm -hmm. maybe and so lieutenant master said this detecting if you're below the terrain is pretty easy issue is how do you do it without any exploits then zizen said we have a special log for when people log out more so with a terrain height well above zero all I can think of right now is if instead of killing you when you log out on water and if you're under the terrain, it'll just plunk you in one of the random spawns on the coast. Yeah. yeah. It'll well, like they, they, already keep, of, uh, they already have tons of coastal spawns too, like the server hopper uh, position as well. If they just took mm -hmm. one of those. Just use them. It'd be yeah. so easy. Now, the or one issue I did uh, notice. What? Yeah. No, no, I was going to say, say or, just, or just use Zizen's thing. It detects if you're yeah. under the cords of zero when you log out, and then when you log in, it checks is there any base walls around you. Yes, teleport the person 50 meters from that location. Yeah. Well, that, yeah. I so mean, to be issue, fair... The issue is with that, though. Mm. The issue is, is if you have any client-side desync and then you accidentally get under the map, not by exploiting, you could trigger a false positive, you know, and then you're screwed. Well, that would be like, maybe, I don't know, it'd be really rare. I mean... The, the the method to do this, which I'm not going to tell people how, you have to work to do it. It's not like it just happens. <laughs> Attrition came up with the best idea. Log out and water, <laughs> you spawn in the prison cells with the door locked. Naughty boy! You naughty, you're trying to exploit the game? You're trying to exploit? You naughty boy, you! Oh, 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 sweetie, no, no, no! <laughs> so, yeah, That's I think we should go with that idea. With Oh, yes. <laughs> but, um, no, I think they should do that. <laughs> no, but I, I think we've all coming up with really interesting takes and ideas on how to kind of address it. Ultimately, you know, we'll just see what the team does. If they do decide to do, like, the pretty brutal route of if you're trying to exploit and you log out in these coordinates or and you log out in water or whatever, just a blanket statement, you die. Bit shit. But it is what it is. But if they do decide to make it so if you do log out in water under the map, um, then you pretty much just get pl plunked back in the coast or on one of the hopping spawn points. Fair enough. And if you build a base on one of those cords, then you're an idiot. <laughs> I have a smart Or very solution. unlucky. Okay, dumb. <laughs> okay, so this is a little bit of modern 
jibber jibber. Yeah. But everything on Daisy has a a function called EGE place on the surface, right? Mm-hmm. That means DayZ detects where the surface is, X, Y, and Z, and places it on there. Yes. What if a player, if they are in water, it detects if the surface is above them, and if the surface is above them, it suffocates them. So if you get under the map, it goes, hey, you're at Y level zero. There's terrain above you. Die. Jesus Christ. Yeah. No, no need to be so brutal about it. It's just like, <laughs> you're swimming? <laughs> Die. Not but, I mean, it would only work <laughs> if there was terrain above your head. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, because DayZ doesn't typically have, like, terrain that can go over your head, so it would make sense. Um, that could be, that could, that could work. Or at least teleport I mean, you to one of the coastal uh, hopping zones. Or, or pop you back up on the surface. This player is not on the surface of the thing. They are below the surface, and they would be all like, re um, replace the person on the surface. So yeah, you get under there for like three seconds, then you're back up. But the but the problem is, is that three seconds is all people may need, because they swim under where the base is, log out, and then they're directly one to one, but just height wise up. So uh, yeah, that's enough. that's you know that's the only issue I can see with that one. Um, 119 uh, new base building structures may be introduced. No, they won't. They confirm that it is just going to be balance updates. Unless they're lying again. But it is probably <laughs> just going... Those underground sharks. I don't think they'll lie about that. No. Um, I think it will just be balance updates. Um, but we'll just have to see in, in regards to that. But is there anything else that they did talk about that I may have missed? Not that I know of. What about you, Lemons? No, I think those were like the big points. Mm -hmm. um, oh, um, my bad. Yeah? I was going to say, they pretty much kind of did say that. Like, the same with uh, Full Infusion being put in. Uh, consoles will probably, for DayZ, probably will never see mods. Probably never. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they talked about that because the, the tech for it is just, they talked about Old. Reforger doing it, and they said it was just extremely complex. They managed to do it, but the amount of time and energy. Poof. Well, Adam was saying it took years for them to do it. It took well, their it, it took their team internally years to be able to get that even into a working state. So, and but, they were yeah. saying that if it took them years on a new system, new platform, new engine, if it was on yeah. Daisy, that Not would, a it chance, would never come so. out. Not it, a it, chance. It, it, yeah. it would never happen. <laughs> Lieutenant Master is asking, if DayZ119 would add a new vehicle, what would you like slash think it would be? Bicycle. <laughs> well, we've got Lemons' answer. <laughs> Dump, what about you? Uh, I would like to see... I would like to see farming equipment. I know the expansion already has Lieutenant Master probably knows this, uh, tractors and stuff. Mm. But I would love to see the harvesters. I would love to see I would love to see things dedicated other than the truck to moving large cargo, like i.e. um logs, large stones, stuff like that. Even like maybe even like little trailers or something that you could like hook up and drag or something. I don't know. I would love to see that kind of shit. Yeah. <laughs> For and me, I curse, I'm sorry, YouTube. <laughs> and for me... A drivable red nine. That's what he wants. Uh, mate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do... So I've... For Daisy, I've always wanted a van. Always. I've always wanted to be able to... to stand in the back of a van with your friends... Doing drive-bys. I've always wanted to do that. The S1203 uh, van, I know you wouldn't be able to do that, but I think that would be a really, really cool vehicle to have. Dale, if you've, uh, you, you put that in the comments, and I think they did actually have that in the files from 0.63, but nothing ever came of it, which sucks. So maybe that'll come. But I do, I would love to have a van because the, the road, I can't remember the name of it, but it's, 
Oh, I've wrote something where you can stand on vehicles. Oh, road trip. Road trip. That I would love. Also, expansion has that. Yeah, so I would absolutely love to be able to do that. <laughs> you know, as a vanilla right. option, I think that'd be really cool. Well, like, you know, like the Nissan. What? I was gonna say, I pictured you as a truck guy. Q DOJ's picture of last. Oh truck. my god, Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Yeah, I swear to God, boy, I tell you what. <laughs> I tell you what. <laughs> I, I, t I I swear to God, if I if I don't get that goddamn van back in this goddamn game, I'm gonna lose my shit. Anyway, oh, away from you get candy. <laughs> yeah, but in all I seriousness, though, bikes aside, one thing I would like to see is the utility the utility truck. Or the utility van, or whatever they called it. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I do. Drive I don't know where they fit it in, but <laughs> I'd lie down on it and just drive by. Like, oh, easy. I would do that. Um, there you go. But, but that's it. It's it, as Della said. It's been shown in fusion footage, so the S one two or three model is probably updated and ready. I can't imagine. I can imagine they'll want to launch the vehicle update with a vehicle. It would be ridiculous if they don't but that's the thing a lot of people a lot of different people have different ideas on what vehicles should be introduced and you know some point some people want bikes some people want vans you know some people want uh you know the transit bus i know kyla was just saying that before they want the they want the bus but in the all well that's it everybody Monster has valid <laughs> no i was gonna say everybody wants reasonable stuff and then you have ruin it shut up <laughs> but everybody wants really good valid vehicles and i hope that with the new vehicle system it even paves the way for modders to be able to make more effective vehicles but we will have to yeah. see we will have to see what 119 comes out with um ultimately now again do we actually think that it's going to come out at the end of august or do we think it's going to come out later because of the summer so I think Dumb Cry, you said September, right? You said you were holding your... I said your... August. I mean, October. Oh. I said October. Oh. <laughs> I said Halloween time. Yeah. Um, I, want I know you guys laughed at me, but I might be right. No, you're not. Shut up. It's, it's, it's starting <laughs> to get very, um, very real as they start to talk more about their <laughs> limitations. <laughs> but I, I, I'm going to hold hope. I'm going to go down at the sinking ship and say it's still going to come out sometime in August. <laughs> You know, and if it does, hold on to that sinking ship. <laughs> I will. I'm gonna hold on to that sinking ship, and if, if I sink, out, I'll be damned. But <laughs> if it comes out around my birthday, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> That'd be great. Um, Enjoy it, or <laughs> probably. I have no idea these days. Uh, uh, Lake uh, Lake Vos Paradise says, "Think vehicle physics means just land vehicles, or boats and flying craft as well." Boats. I Everything. okay. I'm going to say this right now, and you can clip this or whatever else, and I've said this before, and I'll say it again, but for a different thing. If boats and helicopters come out, I, I, I'm I, not going to do another 24-hour live stream. Shut up. Before anyone says anything. 48-hour live stream. <laughs> Shut up. Boy. <laughs> Silence the mouth. Shut up. <laughs> Be quiet. Thank you. God. I'll eat a cake shoe. I'll I'll get I'll get somebody to bake a cake a cake made out of a Daisy trainer and I'll eat it on stream. I'll do that. No, everybody, shut up! Not for you on stream. What have we done? <laughs> shut up! <laughs> uh, Please. Um. No. Go ahead. Not your boats and stuff. Yes, they did address type one. Shut up. <laughs> they did. <laughs> They, I don't think that I don't think they would ever add boats. Um, they're not needed, not for vanilla. Can I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not responding. I'm not even going to repeat what you just said there, Bob. But thanks. <laughs> yes, Alibar. Thank you. <laughs> Unless that means seventy two hours, then you. <laughs> but um, no, I don't think boats is needed for Daisy um, at all. I know modders have already yeah. made them, and they're really, really fun to use. Oh my god, everybody. 
Um, I did want to say though, like I don't want vanilla to add in vehicles, uh, for helicopters or boats, but I think it'd be cool if uh the vanilla devs put in uh maybe uh maybe a stripped down version of the vehicle engine where it handles only the physics and stuff, and then they can work from there, mm. like a more core engine uh, engine for vehicles itself instead of having to work off of the car <laughs> physics and then like. Essentially, from what Red Falcon told me, he has to. You have to literally hack it to make it work for helicopters and stuff. Yeah, so I think that would yeah. be kind of cool for uh, for um, for modders. Well, Absolutely. I think with um, I think with Infusion, it's a bit different. I may be wrong, so feel free to jump in and correct me if I'm wrong. But I think it's more like what you were trying to what you're describing with the new Infusion engine. Now, I'm not sure with them having to backport it, of course, if it's still going to be like that or if it's just going to be strictly like car, but from how it's set up, it does look like it's more so of a general vehicles thing. It is. It will well, be. Well, we can specifically state that uh, we know that Infusion broke off from DayZ a long, long time ago. So anything they're yeah. doing, even with backporting, still requires a lot of, well, backwards compatibility fixes and up, up um, mm -hmm. um, adjustments. But what I'm talking about is um, modding knowledge. Item base is the core of almost everything in the game besides vehicle physics and a couple of other yeah. things. That is such a core feature, and then there are so many things that add amazing stuff to it. Well, I'm talking about you strip down vehicles themselves instead of car vehicles being the only one. Go, this is a vehicle uh, core itself for any kind of vehicle. Do what you want with it. As somebody who likes the idea of backwards compatibility, I think it's about time they stop. For oh. some things. I yeah. think they should start to really get rid of the old stuff and just completely new. And they're doing that with the vehicle physics, so but we'll, we'll have to see. Um there are quite there are a number of comments uh, that's just came in that I want to quickly address. Michael says it's happy hour where I am, so it may be the beer talking. Good on you. Um but didn't I read somewhere that environmental changes will be coming to Livonia with the update? Now We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. But all I'm going to say, from what I've been told, is just one simple line. We are not ready. We are not ready for what they're, go that what they're going to be bringing. Now, there are theories and rumours that we are going to be getting underground sections... I actually believe we will. So the reason why I think we will is mass. I do think that we will because Somrak has had good experience with doing underground sections for Namask. DLJ has got some really good experience with making maps. Okay? Them two are the only people I'm aware of publicly that work with Terrain Builder. And it would make sense. Isn't it crazy that we get hyped over stuff like this? May if if you're not really into it, then what are you doing here? Like we're, we're excited about an update and we're going to be talking about it. If you want us to just shit on the game, then find another stream. I'm I'm not here to put up with it. Okay? Like Right. If you're not interested, we don't want you here. Simple as. And that goes for anybody else. It's not my problem. It's your problem. If you if you're not if you're super excited, then what what's with the comments, dude? Like, shut up. Like it's it's petty. Shut up. Anyway. Um, Gulzy. No problem at all. My bad. I apologize. Much love to you, dude. Hope you keep yourself well, man. Just simple misunderstanding, and it's okay. DM us if you if you want to talk after. What was the same? Yeah. So, underground. I think we're getting it. I think we are getting it. Yeah. We need it. It is the only thing that is going to entice 
it's only th it's the only thing that's going to entice Livonia, in my eyes. That is the only thing. What do you guys think? Uh, yeah, I, I think, think that'd be kind of cool. You're talking about how Adam has experience with all that kind of stuff. Um, definitely an interesting uh, point that you're making with his mm -hmm. normal efforts and other things that he's doing. Um, might be uh, might be actually more than I thought of, actually. I didn't consider Adam's experience with how he's handled his own underground uh, endeavors and other things, especially mm -hmm. with, uh, I think, uh, A2 and stuff, or was it yes. A3? It's A2, A2 and A3. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely very interesting. It is interesting, at least in my opinion it is, but what do you think, Lemons? It's going to bring a lot, you know? I think that that everyone has always said that there, there feels like there's something missing from Livonia, and Livonia's kind of felt like an, a half experience. Like it, felt like it felt like they gave it to us, but they mm. didn't fully give us the entire thing. Like They gave us a little taste of it, and they got us enticed, they got us happy, and then nothing else really happened to it. Yeah, exactly. But one thing, one thing, just to sidetrack real quick about Livonia, and this was said on the stream, that they're adding new survival difficulties to Livonia. Now, I'm not sure what that, they meant by that, mm -hmm. but they're adding new mechanics to add different types of survival difficulties, so that could be like anything. So yes. that, that's going to be very interesting to see what exactly that is. Imagine if we saw like the um, EMP, the EMP mm -hmm. blast come on in again from uh, Namalsk. <laughs> well, yeah. if they had that for Livonia, that would be, that'd be sick. I don't think they will, but it would yeah. be pretty under understandable. But... Um... But yeah, so that and that's the thing. So I mean, Livonia has had. A, I would consider Livonia to be a drought map. It, there's nothing interesting to it, in my opinion. But I am biased. I don't like the map. I've tried it. I don't like it. the The only exciting thing I've done with it is to find the Yellow King helmet. I found it once. I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm good. I don't need it anymore. So. I'm just excited to see what they do come up with it. I really, really am. And I think 119 will be the breath of fresh air that Daisy needs. I think it is. Yeah. Absolutely. Daisy, it's a. That's what Daisy needs, and the community needs too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, on top of a great update, if they do decide to pack, like to pack with it a massive bug fixing update, now bear in mind, there'll be quite a bit more time compared to. 118 and 119 it would make sense if there is a lot more bug fixes maybe some of the issues that have been addressed they address publicly they would actually fix who knows not me but we'll just have to see um but yeah it's i'm i'm still excited i'm i'm still really 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 excited but yeah, will we get I'm weirdness good. is mass said no i don't think we will i think we'll get more um, of an explanation with Hannah's Law because Scotty has said previously that 119 will be the end of Hannah's story. Now, that's sad. Also, hello, Boydie. Much love to you, my dude. That is sad. I was kind of hoping that they would expand they would expand Hannah's Law a bit more, but What what's the tagline that they use for the marketing? I can't bloody remember it. It was <sighs> It's your story. I think they'll come out with a new story. If they if they do decide to keep DZ going for another year, I think they'll bring out a new story. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, mean that is what they say, man. That their entire marketing campaign for DZ is around it's your story. You're building your own adventure, you know? Mm -hmm. So Well that's it, exactly. Exactly, but it's it's um, um it's I think it's going to be I mean we know it's going to be a good update but we'll just have to see. Now we kind of talked this internally a little bit. Now last year Daisy um they done a massive thing with the one fourteen update. You know there was a lot of speculation beforehand. They'd done a lot of teasing. You know they you know. Talk, Scott, he talked about us in his tweets and whatever else, which was really funny. So, no idea if they're going to do that this year. 
But if they do an announcement stream or anything like that, or a teasing stream, would you guys want us to do a live reaction to it if it does come out? Bear in mind, we won't be able to react to it when it does on the like on the dot due to time constraints. I work full time, but if it's something you guys want us to watch, do let us know in the Discord or even down in the comments here. Just let us know about that. Yes, yep. yes. I thought I thought people might. Yes, <laughs> uh, I don't think. Um. I don't think... Oh, go on. Go on, Dump. Oh, okay. I was going to say, uh, speaking about the whole underground thing, I kind of hope they bring back caves. There used to be caves. More than Great caves. Point. There used to be, like, they had, like, the few, like... Um, it was before, like, 0.52, and we were talking about the... Um, when well, Silo yeah, Entertainment back when he used to do too. Daisy, yeah, he had like the they yeah. had the bunkers and they were very rudimentary, but they but were they still removed bunkers. them due to uh, due to major issues with them, and they couldn't expand upon them. But the caves themselves, yeah. though, were really cool. They weren't very big, but they were there. It was really nice. Yeah, I think there was one cave, uh, but yeah, it was just nice. And I believe people who have added caves it adds a lot of uh, coolness to the game. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. Caves is a cool idea. I love the concept of caves, right? But not in Daisy's engine. Which is strange, because I really like the idea of underground, but it's a completely different ballpark to just making an underground compared to caves. But if they do make caves, if they do decide to do it for Chinaris, Fantastic. But I hope they do it in a really, really good way. I really, really yeah. hope they do. Because the... I can't remember the name of it, but there is a tunnel, like a like a bridge tunnel, on the northwest side of Chinaris, uh, where they've got the... Um, Biathlon? I don't know if that's what they call it. I can't remember. But if they do yep. something the similar to... Arena, yep. Yeah, so if they, if they do something with that technique for a cave... That would be even better. Should they let people build in a cave is the main question. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Because not everybody is going to know where a cave is, and if they do it right, they can camouflage pretty well. Mm -hmm. And if you break in, where are they going to go? <laughs> where are they going to go? There's nowhere for them to run or hide. <laughs> but... Yeah, I do think I do think they should add caves. Thinking about that, I think they really, really should. But on, on that topic, though, there's nowhere for you to run either. So if they had the grenade launcher and lobbed a and lobbed a um, chemical grenade there, that would not be a good, good experience. Well, so <laughs> it's that's it's the fine. I'm built different. You're, you're assuming that the caves would be like cartoon or like uh, other games. In real life, most caves always have another way out. There is no just one way into a cave. Um, Very true. There's a lot of ways out. So, like, if you think about it, like, if you look at every static structure in DayZ, Shinaris and Vanilla, not modded, it has windows, it has doors and stuff. Now, you can't mm -hmm. jump out all the windows and the doors, but you can help protect yourself from lots of various different ways. Mm -hmm. There are a couple of buildings that are only one way in, one way out, but, like, it's not very hard to make it difficult for the person to breach it. Remember, it's just as hard as to get in as it's hard to get out. Absolutely. But I think they would keep the same thing where, yeah, there might be only one way in, but if someone's holed up in there, there might be a lot of cracks and holes and stuff that you don't think about, but they might be mm -hmm. able to pop you from. That's very true. Yeah, that is very true. And I know that a lot of different, like, for example, like with modded servers and whatnot, that they have they've tried with caves i know i've designed a couple of my own um and you do get a really good imagination idea for it and you got to think about different different ways to do it um personally i would love a mine like Ooh. sure underground is cool caves are cool but mines mines are dark damp dreary and so awesome so fucking awesome I shouldn't swear. Uh, <laughs> um, they even put a little infected lads in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Slump says maybe airdrops coming to Livonia. 
I will be very annoyed if airdrops are ever added to Daisy Vanilla. Agreed. The only I've airdrop got greedy, system. What is yep. sewers? What the sewers for? Shoe in the big cities. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. That would be really be interesting cool. to do with that, ever. That would be really, really cool. Just imagine the different levels of PvP, because I know everyone always talks about, and I know Dumpgrah, he loves this so much, but everyone talks about the rope gameplay, having the ropes going between the buildings, and being able to <laughs> go from building to building, but having that go underground, and having players go into like a network of uh, sewers to be able to maybe escape, or get into a PvP situation, or get like the jump on somebody, that would be really cool. Mm. It, w it would feel very... It would feel very um, fluid, no, <laughs> no pun intended, but that'd be that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be pretty cool. It, yeah. I would, I would sewers. I think would be a really cool concept to do, and even if Vanilla never does it, modders will be able to easily. I think. I know Damon Forge has created some really great uh, concepts for it in the past, and if somebody emulated that. Or create their own unique way to do it. More than happy for that. Um, yeah. Exactly, what, Greedy. Even sewers just, just bypass a PvP area or known hotspot. Exactly. And this should be a risk. That, uh, safety. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There should still be a risk, you know, with the PvE element. Um, you know, maybe more infected in the underground or something like that. Or maybe new infected for sewage workers. There you go. Oh, you never know. But going back to... Um, uh, what Slump was saying about airdrops I think the only way airdrops could ever work if it was medical supplies I know that you yeah. know modded servers they always have like the highest tier weapons and that but it's something that I talked about on New Dawn when we, when we did run that humanitarian so how do I explain this governments in other entities do not fill your airdrops with chair tax and HK 417s. They they fill it with <laughs> food, medical supplies, beans. and and beans, <laughs> nails, stuff all like sorts of stuff like that. If they do that, fantastic. But if they do decide, oh yeah, by the way, he's a goddamn bazooka or whatever else, then let's say, what? No, Lad, Lad, that's also something. If they do introduce them, they would probably do, like Lad said, the medical supplies. And it'd probably be like NPC gear, filters, medicine, I would even stuff accept like that. that. Yeah, things, POC stuff. Things humans would use, not infected. Yeah. Um, because, again, remember, it's supposed to be a way to keep people alive, not necessarily a way to help them kill each other. <laughs> well, that's it, yeah. What if then, the enemy yeah, government... Yeah, do have gas grenades. <laughs> it's very true. What if the enemy government wanted to cause disruption? Don't you think they've already done enough? <laughs> the government of Somalia threw open the armories, hoping uh, that people would rise up in support of them. But how often does that happen? That doesn't. I would imagine it doesn't happen often, and especially in a case like this. Um, but I could be wrong. But I would not. I would still not be happy if they'd done that route. I would still not be happy. Um, but yeah. And, and that's it, Dallas. And that's where I'm getting the inspiration from, re uh, mainly. Um, obviously, exactly my idea from you, Dawn. They shouldn't, they, shouldn't be, they shouldn't be another helicopter drop. They should be supplies, you know? That's yeah, exactly, exactly, that's the perfect way to sum it up. Yeah. <clears throat> How often do zombie apocalypses happen? Me, I like the idea of done right. Uh, um, agree to disagree. We'll agree to disagree because I just don't think it'll be. I don't think they'll ever do that. But see, this is the thing. Daisy is evolving into something that nobody could have anticipated, even a couple of years ago, right? And even with like the new introduction of Livonia way back when, didn't even think that we get toxic zones or any of the kind of stuff that we do have now. But do you think Daisy is evolving in a good way? Like, genuinely? It's subjective. I mean, for each player, mm. it could be a good thing or a bad thing. And it's, I mean, there's, I don't think it would be fair for me to say whether or not it's evolving, because it could be for some people. It could be going backwards for other people. But 
for every player, it's their own experience. And I think that yes. if they're able to better flesh out having players have a good experience, which they haven't tried to, that's all I'm worried about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the main thing. I want players to to enjoy the game. And this, and we've talked about it so many times on the podcast before. There's so many different ways of enjoying DayZ. There always will be. Uh, especially, you know, some people like to purely play on official. You know, despite the blaring issues official has, they still play it. And you know what? More power to them. You know, more power to them. I tried official recently. I got killed by a hacker and I haven't touched it again. And I was, yeah, pretty salty. But some people like to play on hardcore servers, like really hardcore servers on, on modded, on my community. Some people like to play it just like, you know, PvP deathmatch servers. And that's the thing, you know, Daisy has evolved into where it does cater to everybody because anybody can create a server in their own vision for their own kind of playstyle. And that's perfectly fine because there's always going to be people that, that do that. But in terms of vanilla, not counting the community like side of things, but just vanilla... Is Daisy going in the right direction? Now, again, I know you said it's subjective, but we I can all so. we can all say Daisy's going in a good direction because of X, Y, Z, yeah. and whatever else. But I mean, personally, obviously, I think it is. <laughs> but I would say I think I think <laughs> Daisy's going in a good direction, and the reason why I say Daisy is going in, going in a good direction is because everything they're adding is configurable. Mm -hmm. Don't like this, don't want this, don't add it. Turn it off, turn this on, turn this off, off. whatever. Mm -hmm. Flick a switch, add in more weapons, whatever. Even for console, they're expanding the customizability of servers. And as long as DayZ keeps adding features but tells you you have a choice in the matter, I think they're doing the right path. Yeah. I can I can I can agree with that actually. I can agree with that because that's that's the thing. That was something that Daisy didn't really have before. Like if it came out with a feature on especially like, you know, the server side. You had to deal with it. You had to put up with yep. it. And it was like it's a bit crap, you know? You know, you had to rely on mods to circumvent some stuff. But then the popularity of those mods and it influenced the actual development. And now even console servers can get like build anywhere or stuff like that and turn off I believe they can turn off stamina and stuff like that. And personally, I I'm I'm indifferent about those features, but the fact that they have that is good enough. And yep. that's the main thing. Because then it truly does mean you can still play on a on a on a vanilla like server, but with just certain features turned off, and that's perfectly fine as well. What do you think, Lance? Yeah, and it just it gives them it, it ties in, it goes full circle circle and it gives the player the chance to then build their own experience like they're trying to get us to do. So mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And again, and that's and that's the and that's the main thing with DayZ. Now with 119, again, what well, I'll probably just want to revisit this kind of like topic again once 119 comes out, obviously with a major update. Because that could change. 119 could be the best update ever, but it could also be like one of the most confusing and worst. Where we we love the game and we appreciate the dev team, but again, if they do something wrong, we call them out on it. Or if they don't address something, we call them out on it. But I do I do hope that they do continue to address the main core issues that the game has and not Throw them under the rug. I like this. I like server items health to be put into a JSON file, so server owners can balance ratings as they want without resorting to mods. Uh, not server items, base building items. Duh. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. That is. I can. Un I can understand that. I can appreciate that. I think that's a good idea. Attrition says unpopular opinion here. Personally, I think the last update was a step backwards. The explosives are nice, but to me they seem out of place in a survival game. Hmm. What do you guys think? We need to disagree. <laughs> so, in a survival world, explosives would be important. Not for necessarily surviving, but in response to other things. Most of the explosives they introduced, besides the 40mm grenades, 
are meant for as traps slash ways of gaining access to people. Um, I would think, this is my opinion, in a, a post-apocalyptic survival world, raiding people that you don't agree with and everything else for their food storages or weapons or other things to, to survive longer wouldn't be out of the question. And explosives are not only some of the most dangerous slash nasty ways of doing it, but they're also some of the most time and energy efficient. Mm -hmm. So in real life, if you told someone, break down that brick wall and you gave them a sledgehammer, but it's, uh, and they said, do you care about the brick wall? And they walked up and slapped a piece of C4 on it. Are you really going to yell at them? Or are you going to be all like, actually, I was smart. You blew up the brick wall. You didn't have to use any energy. Well, that's it. Might it. Be excessive, yeah. but it works. <laughs> excessive. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah it's just but gonna I'm put just saying, the concrete like, everywhere and it's fine <laughs> in a real yeah, life I mean, situation working smarter not harder always trumps and wins right yeah. so explosives getting to someone's base would be the most opportune thing maybe you don't have 2,000 rounds of ammunition to waste so you're going to use a grenade instead what if you added those grenades into an improvised thing that you could remote detonate even better means your buddies can have weapons aimed at it and everything else and it's a surprise attack instead of it being a, oh, for like 10 minutes, we've been shooting the same damn wall. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'll just, I just need to quickly pop out for a couple of minutes. I'll let you guys talk about this subject. So I think it is quite interesting. Okay. Thank you. Yep. What do you think, Lemons? It's, Lemons? <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's, I was kind of on the fence about it when it first came out. Like, I, I love the fact that they're adding new stuff and more dynamic weapons that are honestly building experiences that we wouldn't have been able to do before. But the only thing that kind of just got on my nerves was it was the whole thing that, like we said before, this was kind of meant to be a civilian update. Now we got it, and I'm okay with that. You know, now that's already released. But I, I'd like to see that if they're going to release a roadmap and have, like, specific things that they want to concentrate on, that we get more of a focus on that, you know, and they they did, you know, with this with this recent update. I mean, with the we we have been getting a lot, we have been getting a lot of civilian stuff as well. So, so if we were to remove the forty millimeter grenade launcher, would you still call it a civilian update with the explosives? Um, yeah. I the only reason I say that is because all of them are pretty much improvised except for of course like the pox grenade and stuff like that because those ones are you know but with the improvised grenades i think i think that's pretty vanilla like i think that's pretty just kind of survival civilian kind of thing you know and i think that anyone if they had like a good head on their shoulders could probably make one of those and throw it together okay cool so the only real issue here is that the 40 millimeter grenade launcher was a little bit out of place in this update yeah it just it wasn't it felt like it could be it, it was it was a great item don't get me wrong and that's the thing i don't think that it shouldn't have been added but i think they should have picked a better time to add it i think that's the best way to <laughs> i think that's the best way to describe sorry. it <laughs> i'm sorry oh my god what the heck? <laughs> okay um yes you are right um i think this i think the fox grenades <sighs> i'm sorry but just leave it to lad <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Take a serious conversation. But no, honestly, I think the Pox grenades, even though I defended them at the very beginning, now that I've seen them and played with them and stuff, I think they were a mistake. I think they were. Um, I know they're great for camping people and everything else, but until they actually had it where like it seeped in through windows or did other things, I think it was a mistake. I really do. Um and I know they're hard to get on official, but like, and I know the community servers can turn them on or off, but they're just one of the items that are so easily abused in both situations. Uh, what are they called? It's the meta. Using a pox grenade in a camping situation is full meta. Um, they they should be smaller, or they should work around uh, doors, wall, um, walls, and windows. Hmm. Now, I think the big question with that is, though, would the engine be able to handle something like that? No. Yes. yes. I think so. I don't know. <laughs> God, I love differing opinions. It's great, isn't it? 
Well, I say yes because you look at the lighting engine. Mm. The lighting engine can show light through walls and everything else. Smoke isn't any different. It's still a particle. It still has to go through things. So technically, if they followed the same, if the particles could reach somewhere, there could technically be gas or a damage a damage area. That would work just as the same. That's fair. I don't think the pox grenades should have been added. I think it should have been tear gas. Instead. Yeah, a lot if, of people say that. And I kind of I kind of agree now. Mhm. At first I was like, mm, "Pox, that's pretty cool." But now it's like tear gas would be just so much better to use and it would make a lot more sense considering police forces in Chinaris would have used tear gas for riots. But sorry, the chat just exploded for a second. <laughs> just catching up with it. Um I don't like the pox grenades, they just make no sense. Such a fragile grenade, no so soldier would want to carry that. Agree. I think player pox items need to be less deadly, so you can ride it out without dying but still cop a serious health loss. Agree. Usually when the items that seem confusing could lead to a feature later implemented a feature update explosives are for the future. They were kinda of like that with the alarm clocks and the kitchen timer. They were kinda of like setting up that kind of like feature base, which works successfully. Um the the launcher needs a forty millimeter beanbag shell. Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> it takes someone's head off. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I, I think I do think that um, they should add tear gas rounds. I think there needs to be a non-lethal version or something like that. That can just I know they're a real thing, but holy shit. <laughs> Getting shot by one of them is not going to be pleasant. I actually wonder um, if people read the description of the vial. Somebody get it up now. <laughs> do it now, do it now, please. I've not read it. I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. I can't believe I've never actually read it, to be fair. But, um... <laughs> but... It's... It's... Yeah, I... I do, I do still think that they should add a non-lethal uh, grenade for that the whole thing because it would be really cool to be able to, <clears throat> instead of just using a pox grenade to just, well, pox uh, forty mic mic, to to kill somebody who's camping, it would be much better to knock them out so you can rob them, interact with them, um, and that's that that's the main thing that Daisy is about, and if they have something like that. No, it'll be really cool. So they are part of an airburst delivery storm that didn't explode. System. That would make sense. To, uh, yeah. That. Why the hell did I not think of that? That would make complete sense. Why they would spawn in there. Well, oh my god, I'm thick. But they're glass. They shatter literally on impact. So why would they not shatter upon falling? Good point, actually. Then again, I dropped a plate once and it didn't smash. <laughs> <laughs> but, you <Ooh>. know. <laughs> hey, Red Falcon. <laughs> hey, Red Falcon. But, yeah, you, you do have a point. But still, it would explain why they would be there. But no idea. No idea. Maybe but... let me cast a feather falling on it just before it hit the ground. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, either way, but then we have the 40 millimeter pox grenade. So, uh, or, yeah. Uh, yeah, 40 millimeter pox grenade. So, like, it kind of works with them. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, it's just the pox grenade, like someone said earlier. It's just overpowered. You, you throw it, anybody within, I think, a 10 foot radius dies. Um, and even like the most modern. Uh, buildings, you, you you couldn't really escape it if someone was covering a doorway and they threw it. Uh, obviously, you could throw on uh, your own gas mask and stuff. And there's <laughs> ways to prevent it, but it's just so meta, it feels like it's out of place. Yeah. I can, I can understand that. I can understand that, definitely. Michael says, give me Hannah as a playable character. You know what? If they don't come out with any more lore items, like the Hunter's backpack with the little flower on it, I'm going to be annoyed. 
speaking about playable characters, I want I want I want uh, Scotty as a playable yes! character. Yes. Yes. Guys, hearing me? <laughs> I mean, they did scan him, so no, no, no. I want DOJ as a playable character. DOJ. I mean, I want the team. <laughs> I, want, I want. I want. I want more team members. Everybody that we could play was once a team member. That would be really cool. That would be really, really cool. To be fair, um, Dean but... Hall is a survivor. <laughs> How people would love to run around and have him get shot. Oh god, yes. <laughs> Just make him climb the highest points of Chinaris in Livonia. <laughs> There's already a mod out there for it, and that's what people go. use it for. <laughs> for living. Yeah, yeah, that's about right, Mickey. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, I, I mean, there's a... It, I mean, it's always come up with some really interesting updates. It's not always so good. It's always come up with some very questionable design choices. Dean Hall was an infected model from memory. It was that and a survivor um, back in Alpha. But they removed both, which is fair because likenesses licenses probably and stuff like that but it is a shame but I think the game overall is going in a really really good direction not in both just the game but the community side like what Scotty's been doing uh, and what the rest of the um, the community representatives PR has been doing I think they've been yep. doing really really great um and I do. I definitely can't wait to see what Scotty's got in mind for Hannah's Law. I can't wait to see what they've all got in mind for One Nineteen. And I can't wait to see how they are going to finish this year off. Because last year was pretty cool. But if they've got at least one more year of development, what's going to happen? Yeah. What is going to happen? And that's right, the thing. I, I got it. You you got it. I don't. Just give me a second. Barra. <laughs> um, For, forgive me. No. I shall. Okay, I, sh I shall. Me. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You, 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 you know it. <laughs> but I, I, I think, um, and that's that's the question. Daisy is a ten-year-old game, or at least a ten-year-old concept now. <laughs> that's yeah. right, Michael. Hell yeah. <laughs> Volumetric clouds, please, Daisy. They actually, I think they actually mentioned that on the po on the um, on the stream. Yeah, didn't they say it was a little networking. bit something they're not going to be revisiting right now because of networking? And they actually mentioned that with the ADS, it was it is due to like networking and syncing and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um. He was talking about the pox grenade, right? DOJ. Mm. Right? What? The 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 glass the vial thing. Let's see. A spherical glass container. It's apparently designed to crack an impact and release the chemical agent stored inside. That's all it says. So it's pretty generic, I suppose. Doesn't really go into more detail than That's that. That's what I was asking. Yeah, if that was the correct one. I, th that's, I, I think that's item. I think that's what he was referring to. Yeah, but <clears throat> I mean, we we do sometimes like speculate on what is coming out for future updates. Um, sometimes on no like no evidence to prove it. It's just you know what would be really cool. Um, but again, <clears throat> we're not ready. Whatever it is, we're not ready. Spoiler alert, I think we're ready. <laughs> Bring us it now. No, actually don't, please. <laughs> um, we don't need another 1.18 to happen. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's harsh. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I do think that the only way we'll ever get volumetric clouds is if Daisy updates to DX12 and we get what Infusion has. That's the only way. Because they used but to even use then, there would still be called... networking issues. Mm, probably. But hey, DX12. <laughs> I want a new yep. renderer. That'd be really cool, please. If there's something that can uh, be done, Daisy can probably get desynced as well. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Michael says PC has mods and maps console can't have, so maybe give console something exclusive. I will be honest, Michael, that's not how a business should think because just because the community can do something doesn't mean the business should do it too. The exclusive to chime in on that too. Technical problems, not necessarily yeah. not wanting to do it. And not even just technical problems, it's also just licensing too. Like we've talked about on the um the uh, show before. There's just so many loopholes that they have to jump through when it comes to getting proper licensing for third-party modding, and it's a very difficult thing. We've seen it with uh, Reforger, but even then, it was still very difficult to get it through, and there's a lot of stuff that has to be done. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm not. I just love it. I, um... I le- leave it to you guys, you know. In the middle of, like, just a full-on, <laughs> like... <laughs> You're welcome, Lemons. Much love to you, my dude. No, but continue, continue, go on, mate. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm trying to regain my. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. So licensing is it's such a hard thing to do, and that's why if you ever play console, there's fundamentally no games that do it. The only ones that do it are actual Microsoft licensed ones, like um, uh, Fallout or any of that stuff, and that's or Fallout or um, I can't think of the other one. But those are the only ones you see it with. And it's just because there's so many difficulties with it in development. And if they want to do it, they would have to be pretty much stepping on eggshells, you know? Because one wrong move, and they could they could have their game pulled off the market, you know? And mm. if, as, as a company, at a company standpoint, are you going to lose millions of dollars just to do something like that? It, it does not seem like a good... Uh, a good business decision, you know. Banter. <laughs> Just banter the do yeah. for the bans. Um, yep, exactly. <clears throat> so, I think that there was a few comments here. Um, console does have an exclusive to 5 FPS. Yep. Uh, <laughs> console needs a new map. This is what Alex Michael says for people on our Spotify. Alex Michael says, console needs a new map. What do you think the devs will do about it? Honestly, mate... Nothing. Nothing. People, right, okay. People do not understand how complex and time-consuming it is for a map to be developed. It is also, very... Also, thank you. It was, it was Fallout, Skyrim, and Minecraft. Those yes. are the Microsoft license one that do mod. Uh-huh. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and... They won't do anything about it because one of the main things Daisy is very well is does try to be very good at is the parity between console and PC. If PC gets a piece of content, console gets it. If they focus on console related features, PC will get it. So if they make <laughs> shut up, DMG, I'm trying to help you here. Shut up. <laughs> um, well, not, well, Mickey, you do have honestly, you do have a valid point. You, you, me, heck, you can even get a good PC for that price anyway. Well, I say that. Yep. It's still in the GPU crisis, but... Um, I, I personally don't think that they will create a new map. Um, it takes, again, it takes a will. long time. If, if but they I agree ever with do, what Mickey said. Yeah, I think I mean, they should make an yeah. optimized version of the game because there's a lot of software publicly available for that for game developers to use. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of things that can be easily done to convert stuff from last gen to next gen. It does. It, there is. Don't get me wrong. There is. Stu- it is a tedious process to do that, depending on what the game is and depending mm-hmm. on what engine it is, and of course and stuff like that. But yeah. I think that if they were to do that, it would be very beneficial. Now, the only problem I could see with that, and this is something I've discussed uh, publicly before, mm-hmm. is a lot of people, frankly, just don't have the money to get a Series X right now or a Series S, and they're still on the last gen consoles. Unfortunately, I'd say yeah. at least. Yeah, at least about 60% of people on um, Xbox are still on last gen. And mm-hmm. that's 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 being nice. You know, I, there's probably a lot more than that. And unfortunately, that's just how it is because they do cost a lot. You know, yeah. they they're, they're pretty much you're pretty much buying a mid-tier PC at that point. So it's it's unfortunate, but honestly, if they were to do something like that, I think it would be the push to get more people to change over to next gen. But I think mm-hmm. The way they're seeing it right now is they have to wait for those numbers to go up because yeah. that would be a big <clears throat> fall for them because they would lose so much with revenue. 
because everyone would go over to the new gen, they'd have new features and stuff, and then everyone would start falling off and dropping off on last gen if they don't want to switch. And then yeah. one, you know? Yeah. Well, that's that's something people have to consider. At the end of the day, Bohemia and DayZ are a company. They need to make money. They need to make profitable decisions. And those decisions sometimes don't um, sway well with people. Mm -hmm. um, and that it does suck. It, it, does, it does really suck. But um, like Lemon's just saying, but if, if they were to cut that, off the they won't, they old gen the console, <laughs> yeah, if they cut off the old gen console, imagine how many thousands upon hundreds of uh, dollars they're going to lose because they no longer have those people. And that's like, it. Said. And that's it. I mean, don't get us wrong. Um, see, there's the, the, uh, there's always people who say, um, like I, I believe it was uh, Lake vs Paradise. Why is the game being hindered by the lowest denominator console? You want a better experience, get a better machine. Don't make everybody else suffer, which is fair. But I, I don't see any evidence, at least not. Um, not that's being presented to me that Daisy is being hindered by console at all. Like, I just don't understand it. Daisy was first run on a completely terrible engine, right? They created a brand new engine, fantastic. And people say, oh, you know, Reforge is also, you know, hindered back by console. I don't think it is actually. Um, consoles are actually getting a lot more better than people realize. We're not stuck in the late noughties or anything like that. Um, consoles, especially the current generation, very akin to mid-tier PCs. Last gen, yeah, there are. There would be. I would consider them low-end PCs. But again, like you can, you can just play Daisy. You know, in 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 that regard, regardless. And yeah, yeah, it's just. Well, it's just. I see it a is lot one of those things. Yeah. Yeah, I see a lot of people talking about old gen consoles and new gen consoles and get a PC. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't feel the same way if Daisy upgrade uh, updated its graphics and stuff, and the PC you just bought uh, built a year ago didn't work. You have to be wise about these kind of things. Mm -hmm. Just because you can spend you know four grand on the biggest beefiest PC in the world doesn't mean that 80% of the population can do that. So mm -hmm. you got to remember about the people you're trying to make the game for. And yes, it does suck to hinder the people who have the newer stuff, but it doesn't necessarily hurt you. Uh, it doesn't stop you from playing the game and enjoying it. Yeah, It just makes it so people can still be included. All right, answer me this. Do you think Armor 2 or Armor 3 could ever be played on console without cutting down significantly on what those games are? That's what you need to see to know the total scope of the game is suffering because of console. They're exactly... Okay, so Armor 2 and Armor 3 could not run on console. They've tried it. It did not work well, and they tried the same thing with Daisy Alpha. They did test it on the PS4, and it ran at like 10 FPS. And, and, and Even Reforger I mean, on it's next still, gen. It's still it's running really 10 running FPS, but... <laughs> again, I, 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 w I would... Don't get us wrong, I, like... I would love you to to tell me more about how Daisy is suffering because of last gen console. I I I personally don't see it. I mean, there probably is something there, but I just personally don't see it. Um. But w with you seeing about Tenor and Daisy official, we do need a jungle map. To be fair, we do we do need one. I think that would be fantastic. Um. Armor is super CPU CPU heavy. Yeah. Consoles have terrible yeah. CPUs. Um, Zizen said console probably kept the dev team funding going. Absolutely right. It, no doubt about it, it did. Like, I am not going to sit here and say, haha, PC is the best. Console helped save the game a little bit when that came out of console. So it's it, that is completely understandable. Um, well, you all know the Skyrim joke, right? Oh, there's Skyrim, Skyrim, you know, for PS4 or PS5 for your Alexa, you know, that joke. But mm -hmm. that joke actually applies here. Think about it. People who buy the last-gen Xbox series and don't like it, they can either buy a new series console or they can go to PC. Mm -hmm. That's two copies of DayZ that they will be buying. The same with uh, even buying it for their friends or whatever else. You got to remember... Uh, people who find that their console experience to be lacking might go to PC or buy another console. Um, mm -hmm. And this helps Daisy overall as well. So 
there are a lot of interesting aspects to this that are actually too many to really discuss in a short time period. Yeah. And um, uh, Dell FC say vanilla view distance constraints is most likely set for last gen consoles. Uh, well, no, because... We've always had those. Well, it's gotten better, don't get us wrong, but the thing is, even on PC, servers that increase the view distance, they, um... It doesn't go well <laughs> on PC. I actually can explain why. Yeah, go for it, mate, go for it. Alright, so, uh, when you guys are running your servers, there's a server thing, uh, thing in your server dz.cfg called network bubble range, and how many people can be in it, and all that kind of stuff before it causes issues. Mm-hmm. There is a direct correlation between the network bubble range and how far a player can see. Those two coincide with each other. To increase one, you have to increase the other. Mm -hmm. That is just how it works. So technically, with a larger network bubble range, players load in more things. Causes more things to be rendered in and calculated by the server. You get too many people inside of the same network bubble range crisscrossing, you start causing significant FPS lag not only for the clients but also for the server mm -hmm. well that's it <clears throat> oh, that's about the network bubble. i do apologize mm -hmm. I, I would be interested though if somebody who runs a server i know Dale, if you've got quite a few which by the way i still love you in a mask then it's really cool if somebody could actually get their own little server going and they absolutely ramp up the view distance for, for objects to rain and everything like that. Absolutely just go mental with it to see how far it would actually work. When players are in, let us know. If you want us to partake in that, again, I would be more than happy to partake in that. Because, again, see, this is the thing. I'm sitting here saying, I don't think consoles uh, can, you know, he's, he's holding the game back. Um, and, you know, if Daisy can prove that it can actually run pretty decently with the further distances and it's like okay you know fair enough it is what it is um and i'll i'll admit i'm wrong and it'd be like you know what that is a valid point consoles can possibly hinder the game in some aspects i would love for you to prove me wrong absolutely so hit me up anytime and i'll be more than happy to talk talk uh, to you about it and partake in that um we've talked a lot about 119 and other <laughs> we haven't even we are an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes into the show and we haven't even touched on the rest of the topics. It's been a fantastic conversation with everybody, to be fair. It's been really, really nice. It's been awesome. Thank yeah. you very much. I really, really do appreciate it. If you if you do want to... It just shows we're passionate about the title, you know? Well, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's all you can ask for. Well, that's it. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. I mean... We are very passionate about the game. I know some people can consider us as fanboys. I don't. I don't think so, because you know fanboys think the game that they're a fan of can do no wrong. Daisy can definitely do things wrong. <laughs> Keep Daisy talking. Can do wrong. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Keep talking. I've got three beers left. <laughs> you all right, boy? I tell you what, I'm gonna talk all goddamn night. <laughs> hey, Michael, can I have a beer? Please, <laughs> I can do with one. <laughs> you can boost view distance and object draw to 3,500 potato PC for FPS dropping much. Okay. I wonder why no one does it then. Uh, because it's also client side. Hmm. So, yeah, I, I, even I don't if I have my server to 2,000 uh, meters, even if I have a. Oh, yeah, my bad. Yeah, that's the thing. It's only client side. So if Vlad has it to 2,000 meters and I have it to 1,000 meters, that bush Vlad thinks is full foliage isn't full foliage for me. That's fair. Which well, is I one think... of the biggest issues in Daisy. Because I... mm -hmm. you can't do it in game. That needs to be a thing. Actually, no, does it? No, I don't know. That would be exploited. But, <clears throat> but, but we'll see. Um... <clears throat> Here's your sure beer money. <laughs> Thank you very much, oh, Michael, for the 35 US dollars. I really do appreciate it. Much love to you, my dude. Thank you. If anybody else wishes to support the show, we're going to be introducing a new system in the coming weeks to help support not only the show, but to us directly. 
Uh, more news will come on that um, later. But if you do want to support the show, just do what Michael done and give us beer money. <laughs> no, but if you do want to support the show, there's so many different ways to do it. Even just joining the Discord um, is is amazing. You know, we'd love to hear your, your thoughts, your opinions, and we'd love to see what you guys go on and what you're doing in the community. So get yourself involved. Or just bully lad too. That's best yeah, payment enough. Lad. Just blow up his yeah, PMs. He loves being Take a rip at him. Yeah, exactly. Just witch hunt lad. <laughs> I just want to create good content, guys. <laughs> this is good content. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, but again, thank you again very much, Michael. But yes, we have yeah, all sorts thanks. of options for you to support the show. So if you want to go ahead, do that. That'd be great. Plug over. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, but with you, distance again. Yeah, I would. I would absolutely love to play this. I would love nothing more. It's my pitch, bro. I'm not an ogre. I might look I got like a, one, uh, but uh, not... uh, 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 a broom on fire. Let's do it. Oh yes, knock his out in two hits. It's fucking cool. Um, <laughs> but I would. I would love to play in a server that actually has like the view distance completely, like tripled, quadrupled of what typically happens on the server. Um. I'd love to have a map like that. That is that it default, you know. I know Daisy yeah. can sometimes struggle, but I would love nothing more than that because it would be so awesome to be able to see valleys of mountains in Daisy, and actually see them for like miles ahead. Mine and Mask has it. I I I I I did not know this actually because I'm so used to the big distances from the Mask. Actually, no, the Mask is a small map, so I have to rejoin it and double check because I anyway. Um. Yeah. What we're we talking about? <laughs> you just have to do it the client side tweaks. Yeah. Send us a DM on. Actually, no. Volbo done a video about that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at that. The mask is two point two k render distance, if I recall correctly. I think it's something like that. I'll watch I'll watch Volbo's video on how to do the view distance thing. I think I know how to do it, but it's always got to refresh your memory. Um, and I'll jump back on at some point tonight and try that out, and hopefully not get killed by. Naughty monsters in the dark. And I'm not talking about the infected. Dareleth. You naughty man. Anyway. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, yes. No? Yes. <laughs> um, but I do, again, I do think Daisy is coming up with some good things. And there's so many good ideas that the community always brings up and the people. And heck, and even <laughs> Melbourne has actually made it for once. Nice. But even people who, you know, they complain on Twitter and they mourn on Twitter about to, to Daisy. And it's fun, kind of funny because it does sometimes fall on death ears. Um, they do bring up some really cool ideas. They really, really do. And I do hope that Daisy continues an upward trajectory. And if we get another year of updates even better but honestly i don't think the game's going to get much more official um official stuff for much longer and thank you very much melbourne for the 499 i really do appreciate it much love to you my dude now are we actually going to talk about the topics <laughs> i know lad i mean we we are but <laughs> I, I, we, we are, are. Talking about the topics <laughs> yes Right, okay, thank you very much for coming along. I really, really do appreciate it. I want to thank everybody for coming along at the show. It's been all... <laughs> no, not quite yet. Not quite yet. <laughs> Bye. No, but... Uh... All right, guys, it's over. I'll see you next week. Take care. <laughs> yeah, because Melbourne just joined. We're just out of here now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. I'll quit. <laughs> but, um... Show's over, guys. We're canceling it. <laughs> no not quite there not, not quite there no um but see so quite a few quite a few things away from the actual game has been going on this past week um i'll fully admit i have been very very busy i was talking about the show at the start of the show i've been very very busy um but a couple of things have been have they said that <laughs> Back this. Have they said they're done supporting the game after 120? No, there's probably one more up, uh, one more year of updates. But then again, they say that every year. <laughs> so, oh, this is going to be the last year, guys. Oh yeah, by the way, one more year. <laughs> 24 hour charity podcast. Start the coffee. We got a ways to go. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me. I don't know if he was referencing me, or he was just saying it in general. 
but some rack when he was talking on the on on the on the stream <laughs> he, when they were talking about how long the stream should go he I was like 24 hours and I'm like I swear to god don't <laughs> please don't oh lordy lord that's going to be my legacy but yes yeah, so a lot of a lot of uh, la, 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 a lot of different things have been going on this week and something that was pointed out to me well actually Let's cover this event first. Queens of the Castle 2. 28th of August, 2022. Much love to your slump. You take care of yourself. Thanks very much for coming in. I really, really do appreciate it. You look, you look after yourself. But Queens of the Castle 2, coming out on the 28th of August, 2022. Now, I've been following Ariana quite closely. Um, in regards to this event, because I missed, I missed the first one. I missed the first one, and I, I was so upset that I did. But the teams have been announced, and I'm really, I'm, I don't know most of these names, admittedly, but it seems really, really cool. It seems really cool. We've got Echo. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not even going to pronounce these names because I can't. Um, Evangelin, I think. That's how you pronounce it. Leeds Lass, Ever Spicy TV, Vodka Cupcakes, Tenacious D, Fish. I love Fish. She's fantastic. Gemster, Nay Nay, and Team Red. I'm labeling these out for a spot of five people. Um, Team Green, Spagletti, Caitling, Rampage Granny, Nanu, Holly Daisy, M Mad Gree, Pink Gaming, Sweetest Kill, Jinx Rainy for Team Green. Team Blue is Milsey, Misfits, The Lady Cassie, Holly Rex, Sweet Spark, Huntress, Vinny, Kate's Mintor. Jackal Jacks, Fatal Goddess, Team Yellow is Joito, Shandog, Kill Beans, who I believe was on the show previously in one of the older episodes, uh, Lady Venture, Colourful Me, Bexy, XX Melissa 20XX, Senny, Lucy Irish, Moody for Team Yellow, Team Orange, Just Jill, Just Ellie, Slexify, Red, Sammy, Daisy, Evie, Dobby, Ariana, makes sense, Foxy, Fox Girl, Wheelsy, and Team Purple is Donna Barrett, Gaming Nana, Lady X T, K Tac, uh, Sabriel Five, I Am Dizzle, Poetry Slam, Jemmy Boo, Band in Black, Stone Fly Kai. I, again, I don't know some of these names. I wish I did. I really, really wish I did. I'm sorry. But just the amount of names here, you know, six teams, this event is going to be. Fantastic. I absolutely cannot wait. I really, really cannot wait. And I love events like these. And like I said, I missed the first one because I think I was at work while I slept. I don't know what the hell I was doing. But I missed it and I regret it in like massively. And when and then when she announced um Queen's the Castle 2 shortly after, it was it was fantastic, but it's becoming a reality. Are you guys gonna be watching it? I did watch uh, it. I did. I watched bits and pieces of the first one, so I, I'm <laughs> gonna try to watch this one a bit more full through because it it was <laughs> awesome. The first one was amazing. Yeah. So I'll try. I'll I'll make the effort to at least. <laughs> <laughs> what about yourself, Dump? Uh yeah, definitely will. Um, yeah, that'd be really cool. Um, I wonder if it's possible. If they'll uh, if they'll put their streams up on like some of those websites where like they have all they you can have like I think it's like up to twelve people streams and like one. Like, oh, that would be thing. sick! Oh, yeah, uh, like the uh, multi streams. Yeah, yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. But it'd be cool because then it'd be fun to like record it and then mm -hmm. like like us like talk about like different things about it and see like yeah. how cool it was. But like. I think it'd be really cool for them to do that because on those on those like websites, you can click on like let's say you have like six of them. You click on one of them, it actually takes you directly to their stream. It doesn't just blow it up; it takes you straight to their thing. So uh -huh. like you're not a hundred percent like losing viewers because people will be like, "Oh, I like this person." Click. But yeah, well that's uh, it. Yeah, I'm I, I, I'm excited to see this because I didn't watch it, but I heard so much about it, um, and I remember people going on about it for like a couple months afterwards that they had so much fun. Mm -hmm. And 
if I remember right, this kind of set the stage for a lot of the other Daisy events. Yes. And, uh, streamer hosted events that we've seen, right? This kind of started it all. Uh, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. I, I, I do. I think it's. It definitely. I mean, obviously, there were Daisy events before the Queens of the Castle won. But I have noticed ever since the success of that, there's been so many, so many events that's been going on. We'll be, we'll be covering another one as well. But it's, and it's like, you know, people who, who host the event, who, you know, who's going to be streaming it. And they, Ariana talked about that as well. Each hosts have their own teams to spectate on. Make sure to check out their streams on the day. So if you aren't following yet, fix it. There's three people. Three people. Amr said, um... I'm struggling to read that name. Um, Amr said, who covers Team Red and Yellow? Um, Im Rectangle is Team Blue and Green. And Doc... Uh, and Dr... Uh, Doc Dreist. Dump. I'm terrible I'm so proud of you, Dump. What? <laughs> what for? What, what did you do? Oh, no, because you, you had said Dump. So I'm, I'm so proud he made it into the uh, Queens of the Castle as an announcer. <laughs> Shut up. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Shut up. But, you know, these people, um, you know, these people who's going to be hosting it, um, I, I, I missed a rectangle. Oh, my, the, the name's on the right there. Jesus Christ, I'm dumb. Um, uh, but it's, you know, these people are going to be streaming it, so I would definitely, definitely give these people a watch, give them a follow, support them as well. They're all fantastic content creators. They really, really are. Um, absolutely give them some love for it. Um, yeah, I don't get why no female stays. is casting the event to BH. No idea why. I don't question it. I'm just happy that it's getting sorted out. That's all I care about. It's getting done. We're all playing the game. Well, that's it. But what... Um, and it's just... It's just... <laughs> I love this game. Awesome. <laughs> but it's... I, I can't wait for these people to, to show it, and I really can't wait for the teams... I I'm not going to speculate on who's actually going to who's going to win. I I unfortunately don't know the names, but I'm just going to pick Ariana's team just for the hell of it. Why not? I think it'll be really cool. If her team wins. Um, but it's it's going to be really really awesome. It's gonna it it's I think it's a well needed event, and I wonder if it'll spawn Queens of the Castle three. Oh, I think that be, I think I think that'll be really cool. That'll be really really cool. Because I, I know, I know the first one there was a little bit of a little bit of drama, and I touched on what Ariana said. I think it was last week. Now it doesn't matter if there's any issues or disputes, whatever. If you want to partake in the event, you can. And it's nice to see that. Oh my God, that's a nice die. And it's so nice to see that so many people did partake, and it's going to be a full blown event. I can't wait. I'm going for Team Purple. Wait. Team Team Purple. Who's Team Purple? The dice says so. <laughs> Fair, <Number> enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> it's gonna be a really cool event. Um and Ariana's been killing it recently. I know I have been following her quite a lot. And I know she's been struggling streaming and, and you know if you ever do um if you ever do see this. You know, I wish you the absolute best. I hope you get yourself back into the game. Get yourself back into there. And um and all the furniture stuff that she's been doing as well has been really, really cool, actually. I'm not going to lie, I've got an interest in that. I tried to get into that also, years ago and it didn't work uh, out well. Team, team Yellow all the way? No one else? Everyone's going to lose? Only Team Yellow. Why Everything's team, Yellow. Why Team Yellow? Why Team Yellow? I don't know. It's just, it's such a nice color. You know, it, it resembles so many good things in the community. I just, just... I just, oh, shut up. I just got it. Why are you picking Team Yellow? Shut up. Oh, God damn it. Uh, it clicked right away for me. <laughs> it really didn't. It didn't, it didn't click for me. <laughs> I, I get it, girls. I get it. I get it. <laughs> uh, could console streamer events be as successful and sought after as PC streamer events? If there was enough people doing it, 100%. Mm. If there was enough people doing it, totally. Absolutely. I think the only thing is, Greedy, we need more We, we need more people like you and Smiley and Half Goblin in the community actually going out there and doing stuff and engaging with the community. Because a lot of people that started out on console didn't stay. Mm -hmm. When they started making streams, they started taking off. 
and moved right to PC, unfortunately. Yeah. And it's just because there's more people there, there's more of an audience, and there's more freedom they have with what they can do with their content. But if I'm being honest with you, if you could clone yourself a few times, this whole situation <laughs> would be solved. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, totally, yeah. Wow, you just asked him to clone himself. Wow, how could you? <laughs> and uh, as Charcoal most elegantly says... Balls. That is all. <laughs> but again, it's um, um and, and on top on top of that, you know, we've we're talking about events. And there's another one as well, which I was I was um I, I believe you pointed out to me. Um the Life Day Z servers. Um yes, uh, this tweet came out on July the twenty first, so you know, just a day ago. Um, yesterday we confirmed another two events. First is Echoix's eight-year partner anniversary stream snipe event. And second is the Jazerg belated 3k followers charity event, who I believe is has been in the stream and is also in the Discord. So the Echoix one is taking place on Saturday, uh, August uh, the 20th, which is a Saturday, at 3 o'clock, but I'm not too sure in which 3 o'clock, most likely sometime in the US. <clears throat> Equix, a.k.a. Sandy, the f fetish lady, has been partnered eight years and wants to celebrate with a stream snipe event. And you're all welcome to come and... <laughs> I don't want to finish this description. <laughs> I'm not going to finish this description. <laughs> and try to take her down. And try and take her down. Oh, did I forget to say she has heavily ar armoured bodyguards protecting her and they all want blood. Come and join the fight. So if you want interested in in a, in a little tomfoolery there in that event, absolutely go for it. Um, the uh, I will post the tweet in the description. <laughs> shut, shut up, bro. <laughs> the Happy Bombs PvP event. I have not um, linked that in the chat, and I will discuss it. And then Hunting Jazerg 3K charity event, which is happening on September the 3rd, a Saturday. Um, at 5pm, no idea again which time. Uh, <laughs> Jaseg, aka Jiz, aka Norman, aka Friend, hunt him and his bodyguards down using the admin's intel. This is not a stream snipe event. Don't worry though, he can't throw grenades for love nor money, but give him a sniper rifle and he'll put you on ISO. Just push, push, push. There will be a mini game after where you need to kill him and capture the flag from his custom base built at Northwest Airfield. See you there. And I'm. These these events I'm definitely going to be watching. Um, if you want more information, there is the tweet in the chat. And I think they're going to be really, really cool events. I think they're going to be really nice. Echoix uh, was previously on the show, I do believe, and she was lovely. She really, really was lovely. Um, Michael, Michael, look after yourself, mate. Thanks for coming to the show. Much love to you, my dude. You have yourself a good weekend, all right, mate? Take care of yourself. But uh, what's this about the Happy Bombs event? Uh, does anybody know anything about that? No. Uh, no, I don't think I will. I think I'm going to expect everybody else to look into it. No, I'm looking into it right now. <laughs> so, tweets, some tweets. Hunt the Survivor, I think it's called. The Survivor oh, Z. I uh, I think it's the Survivor Z. Um, old, hosted by the old school DAZ service. I think it may be that one. Uh, yes, I believe so. Mm -hmm. He posts about a lot of uh, true colors. Oh, uh, true colors, yeah. Okay, right. I can see the tweet. I can see the tweet here. The Happy Bombs, it's finally happening. 48 players, 8 random teams of 6, in com games only. In game comms only, I should say. Watch this, cough, and subscribe to my YouTube. Then click this if you're interested. There's a form. Um, so let's see if we can watch the video. I'm not too sure if this is going to be content ID. I don't think it will be. Let's just pretend it is. Muted in that case. <laughs> I will post the tweet down below if anybody's interested. I've worked directly with Happy Bombs on a um, on the new gun that they added to the Zero servers. 
really really awesome to work with them really really awesome um so i'm gonna see if i can partake in this event it's some hopefully i <laughs> hopefully i get the time depending on when it is um but yes it's he he's an absolutely lovely person to to work with and yeah get yourself involved get you sign up to the event it's full i am sad now thanks dear jay yes <laughs> but I'm definitely going to be watching then in that case. Um, and even if I miss it, I'm definitely going to watch the VOD. But nice. going, going away from events, unless uh, Lemons, you've got any events you want to talk about from the console side? We did just have one from Greedy, right. which is pretty fun. Um, he set up a, it was like a full boxing ring, like fight club type thing. This just happened last night. And it was very cool. Unfortunately, I was going to hop in, but I didn't have the chance. I was pretty busy. Ugh. But he has been doing them pretty frequently on his uh, Daydot service, which is kind of like the service he used to used to like host all the events on. So Right. Nice. Very cool, though. Very, very cool. And I'm happy there are still people in the community on console that want to do this kind of stuff because they are ultimately mm -hmm. the people that are growing the community. You Absolutely. Know? Absolutely. If it and wasn't for people like Greedy, we'd we'd still be living like this in the Stone Age, like everyone's <laughs> saying. You know, <laughs> that's very true. That's very true. But uh, I I can't wait. Uh, hopefully, we'll um speak more about Greedy in the near future. But uh, yeah. did yeah. anyone chat actually get a chance to um go on there? <laughs> He's still in chat. Hello, Greedy. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, do let us know about the event. Um, you know, the Discord's down below. Um, so yeah, even if you want to talk about it, that was, the, chance, that was yeah. the name of the event. Uh, right. Savage Hands, yeah. But um, if I mean, after even after the show, if you want to talk about any events that took place or will be taking place, this, the Discord's the place to talk about it, or at least one of them. It's not going to be the definitive place because everybody talks about everything anyway. But. <laughs> Love to hear more thoughts and opinions about it. Shut up, dump. <laughs> what? Quiet. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, I'm good. <laughs> you did watch it, All right? Okay, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. But um, yeah, I'd love to hear more about events and greedy. You know, if, if there's any more events coming up, do let us know. Do let us know about it, and we'll be more than happy to to tell people about it, especially for our console folks. Uh, I don't, he usually I don't... is pretty vocal about it, so make sure to check mm -hmm. on his on his um, Twitter. <laughs> he posts a lot on there, and when he's streaming, he always talks about it too. So I'd say just keep out there because he every week he has a different event. So <laughs> yeah, or it usually seem like usually that. every week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. But going away from the I event didn't side, fail, greedy. Yeah, you it did. Was, it was Don't semantics. It, it, it was semantics. <laughs> you, yep, yeah, yep, yep. Bull. It was semantics. <laughs> I it came at the start. I came at the start, and that's what matters. <laughs> <laughs> you, what you I want the participation award? Is that yeah. it? You want the participation award? <laughs> yep. I want the little ribbon. You know, I I, I tried. <laughs> I, I attempted. I showed, and that's I'm all you can ask for. So I'm gonna give you a poorly drawn star with the caption: "You, there was not even an attempt." <laughs> that's all I've ever wanted. <laughs> that is honestly all I've ever wanted. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. But um, but going away from the events, though, something that was um, that uh, Boydy was actually showing me, um, just before, well, a little bit last night, I checked it, uh, and there is a person called Raxto. These are tweets are well, some tweets are relatively old, um, but he tweeted this: the PlayStation feature in DZ game, uh, was in real life designed by Finnish architect. Yes, Yujo uh, Jaco Sadanemi. <laughs> Hey, yeah, well done, lad. Well done. In 1930. That poor man's name. A poor man's name. A building <laughs> is located in Zelenogorsk, 35 kilometers northwest of St. Petersburg, Russia, previously known as uh, Terejoki, Finland. G 
GPS, and then GPS some coordinates there. But they posted some pictures here. And I was actually quite impressed in how similar both buildings are. But you can notice yeah, some key differences. Absolutely, go for it, mate. But it's you can see some uh, key differences, especially obviously in terms of the design itself. But even like the roof, you know, obviously in Daisy you can climb the roof, which if you do, you're mad. But it's really cool how there are stuff like this in game that was actually really obviously real. He probably didn't consider zombies when designing the stairs. <laughs> no, probably not. But you yeah, can see fine. like you can see the. Even so, the ground floor here. Now, this is something I was quite interested in. So you can see that we've got our our main rooms, you know, here, which pretty much exactly where you would expect it. But then it changes here compared to Daisy. Uh, this would lead straight into a cell, like a singular cell. And this time, it's what? Maybe two. Perhaps, I'm not too sure, I don't know, finish. Um, it looks like it would, it leads to a, like, uh, uh, like a transition room, and then there's two cells there. Yeah. And then you've got a whole bunch of different, different stuff here, so this looks like a staircase here. Perhaps. Probably not. Um. Oh, bloody hell, what the hell was that? <laughs> Nick just subscribed! Thank you very much, Nick. Much appreciated. Much love to you, my dude. Thank you so much. And then, obviously, you know, you can see the, the clear different design philosophies here. You know, you know, this is very similar to what Daisy has, same with all here. But then it, it changes here again. And it's it's quite interesting. And then... Oh, sorry, my bloody eye. And then I realised, hang on, in the police station, there isn't actually any toilets apart from the cells. <laughs> in Daisy. Oh. Which, is, which is funny to me, but... It's really cool to see something like this that was actually real made and had their own interpretation into Daisy. But it wasn't just one. Daisy, this tweet came out on February 14th this year. Cor uh, corner Pub plus code M244 plus VQ9. Eustinad, Labim, Chechia. And again, it's an actual building. It's an actual goddamn building. And it's so bloody cool, you know. Got the real life version there, and then you got the DayZ version, which is similar, definitely. But it's really cool what they have come up with. And then in the tweets here, this is what's inside, which is a shame. For uh, auctioned off for four million uh, krona, I believe that's the currency that they use. Is it krona? I can't remember. But it's really cool. That is so cool. And then there's another one which I was like really, I was like, oh my god, this is so cool. Uh, Village Tavern plus code and then uh, Vasilevo Tver Oblast, Russia. So this is actually in Russia. Yeah. And it's like, wow. It even says that it comes with a story with a Russian voice about it. My right, story with a Russian voice. Oh, I have returned. Hel hello. We didn't know you were. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Dom Traktir. That is actually Russian. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but all, all these tweets will be posted in the in the um, in the chat. So if you want to check them out for yourself, you absolutely can. But you just look at this. It it is jarring, Wrath. It is jarring. Because then you look at the real life version. It's like, wow. It's like. It's insane, the level of, like, you, you don't expect the level of detail, but it's like, wow. Yeah. It's really not impressive. To a, not to give the DayZ team another candy, but a lot of these models were made from the original dev team. Well, that's it, exactly. Cool exactly, and the, I mean, those assets are, like, more than 10 years old, easily. Maybe, like, what, 14, 15? Like, At this yeah, point... 13. Something like that, and it's like, wow, it's crazy, absolutely crazy. It's just awesome to see. So all these tweets will be posted in chat if anybody wants to take a proper look at them. Oh, the bus station one was the coolest stuff. Yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show that in a second. Gosh, dump jumping ahead. 
Yeah, god damn, what's wrong? <laughs> but uh, Hunter actually sent me this picture, and I kind of knew of this already. Um, it was, like, showed off, like, way back when Bait was starting or something like that, when they reinvigorated uh, Cherno again. But look at this. It's very familiar. It's very, mm -hmm. very familiar. And... It's quite surreal to see something like this, and it's like, wow. And I guess you don't actually realise on, on how close Daisy represents the real-life locations and structures. I mean, the best example is actually Niznoi now. That is the best example I can think of at this point. That is yeah. literally one-to-one -one with the actual town. Uh, well, not exactly one-to-one, -one. there's obviously some building differences, but yeah. It breathed a lot of fresh air and this noise is such a fun town to be in. It's really, really fun. But it's Yeah. It's awesome. Absolutely. No, it awesome. is really cool to see these. And I would have to say that actually seeing these, uh not only is really cool and it's kind of like I guess uh eerie, but I think it's one of the reasons why Daisy has this kind of like immersive feel to it is that not only are the buildings very realistically made, but they're almost reproduced from realistic locations. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like, if you watch somebody make, let's say, a sunset just from their own mind image and their own thoughts, right? And then you have someone reproduce one. Yeah, the one that they reproduce may not be as good graphically, but it's almost... Uh, authentic. You could almost put yourself there, right? Yeah, yeah authentic. And that's and that's the that's the main thing. It's 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 really cool. It's really cool. Kyla says, "I remember watching a guy that did a vid on the Daisy towns in real life versus game. He flew drone over the towns and did a comparison. It was really cool. I think I remember that video actually. That's 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 genuinely on my bucket list. If I could go to the Czech Republic or Czechia, whatever they call it, and visit the real life location, I would love it." I would absolutely love to be there. In fact, on um, oh, what's what's the game where you can GeoGuessr? On GeoGuessr, there is actually like a like a game mode or game map or whatever. Well, I wouldn't say a game map, but there is a there is a a mode where you can actually choose the real life locations of Chinaris and guess where you are. And it's Q. Sorry. Sorry, Q. Uh, sorry, Q. Um, but are we still world champions? I don't actually know. Let me check. Because I'm number one. I haven't actually logged in in a while. I'm going to be surprised if I'm still logged in. Already have me. Yep. see activities my activities we played a map yep i'm still i'm still world champion i'll I'm, sorry i had to quickly check here so this is the actual thing here um i'll link it so if anybody wants to play it you can but doj and i are Oh, world champions. I can't take the full credit here simply because DOG helped us quite a bit. But it was so fun. Play a game. I am not going to play a game. I'm fine. I'm not going to play a game on the podcast. I'm good. But it is really, really fun. I recommend anybody to give it a shot. Really test your skills. Speed run it. No, I'm not speed running it. I'm fine. I'm very rusty. All right? I'm very, very rusty. One me, one me, lad. <laughs> Maybe when if I ah, do my own stream and waiting for boy. a server. To... <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, Maybe if boy. I'm waiting for a server to come up, I'll I'll, I'll speed <laughs> run it. But but yeah, it's really cool. What what, what do you what, what do you guys think though? Like, would wouldn't you love to go to the real life locations? Oh, hundred percent. Didn't <laughs> uh, didn't Dio get to go to those or some of them? 
Yeah, I think so. Didn't you? Pretty sure he did. I think I think he posted a picture. He went to Tizzy. I may be wrong. Yeah, as I was about to say, I think he posted a picture of the Tizzy ramps on uh, Reddit. Yeah. <laughs> and the and uh, Green Mountain as well of the uh-huh. uh, that, that big uh, yeah. Yes, I remember he was telling us about the Tizzy and his feet were sore. <laughs> to say the least, his feet were very very sore. Um, but yeah, no, he, he I'd love to go there as well. I know. I know Batty's been there before, who used to be the old um, community manager for Daisy back in Alpha Days. She's she's been there. Loads of people have been there, and it's like it must be surreal to go to these places. One day we will. One day we will. I think. Out of all the locations, like based in real life, where would you go? That's a good question. Um. Well, I think for anyone in chat that w- watches any of my streams, they know that I have a, I have a very big soft spot for Cami. Mm. So, I would I would throw it back for Cami, as as everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. In all seriousness, it would either be that or um, it, it would either be that or Savet. Savet's a pretty cool place, you know. Mm. But what about you, Dump Crow? Oh, uh, I guess I would want to go to Boar or Pavlovo. Yeah. One's a a little bit bigger of a town, but Boar is pretty small. But the way it's made is in the game is it goes up a hill and has a creek just below it. But, like, you're not too far uh, from Green Mountain and other things. So it'd be kind of cool to be able to see, like, the visual and stuff. Thank you very much, DOJ, for the hundred. Thank you. Check the hundred currency. The daisy currency. bucks. Yeah, the hundred daisy bucks. The hundred daisy bucks. <laughs> or Bohemia bucks. <laughs> he he he's just donated a hundred and he's telling us to speed run it. Should I speed run it? Very quickly. Also, yep, hello, right PG Frank. <clears throat> the timer's are, it's already started. You're already you're you're already running behind. Dump. What do you think? Thank you for the donation. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. okay Join, our Patreon. Join our Patreon. Join our Patreon. You can see that. <laughs> uh, Lance, Lance, you, you have two minutes from start to finish it. That's it. All right. Okay. It's already started. The two minutes have already started. All right. No, no. When he starts playing. Okay, okay. All right, folks, we're rooting for Lad. Wait, what do you get if you do this, like, the time? Uh, DOJ's love and approval. I've Hilarious. already got that, I think. Take it back, DOJ. Oh, fuck. Give it to him when he gets with it. Shut up. Okay, I can't believe I'm actually fucking doing this on stream. Centrum. Centrum. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Centrum. Where's Centrum? Come on. Come on. Where are you? Free Valleys. Free Valleys is a real place, by the way. This is riveting gameplay, folks. Shut up. This is what you've come to see. This this is what you come to see, right? Okay, I'm just gonna guess. You you asked for gameplay, and this is the gameplay. So, this is the gameplay. Oh my god, this is gonna be a bit different. A bit, a bit more come difficult. on, lad, do it. I'm trying. <laughs> right, you take care of yourself, Matzi. Thank you very much for coming to the show. I really do appreciate it, mate. You look after yourself, and you have yourself a very good night. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna move. Graphics are air. Yeah, no, they are a bit slow. They are admi- admittedly a little bit slow. Just guessing. Oh. Daisy when they upgrade to, to DirectX 12. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
I don't recognize this one actually. Don't recognize oh. the layout on this. All right, how long have we got left? Uh, you have about uh, 20 seconds left. Shit. Okay. Uh, Never ask how long you have left. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, that place that where that weird church is oh, and like thing has a bar that, next to it. It's tizzy. That was tizzy. All right, no wonder. Can we all pay just $10 to get a graphical upgrade? Flash one like, come on, you got this. Um, my my result is going to be terrible, just to let you know. I recognize this. I clearly did not recognize it. <laughs> oh, easily the hey, worst result. Easily my my one right. Okay, let's just hope that this ever happened. <laughs> there are no refunds here. He played the game. You told he me to speak another four dollars to try again. You told me to speak really. You never told me about the result. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Oh. That was fun. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> Thanks for DLJ for being a good sport. I really do appreciate it, mate. One more thing before we do finish up. Now. We haven't received any clips from the community, so I'd just like to let people know that if you do have any clips to submit, uh, you can do so in uh, our Discord in the media. Just give us an at, uh, you know, just mention us, and we'd be more than happy to take a look at it. And if, it, if we feel it's funny enough or really interesting or whatever, we'll put it on the show for you, for everybody to, to see. But in terms of this, now I'm going to get the... I'm going to get the clip I want to show off. And I saw this just earlier on. And it was on the Daisy subreddit. So I'm also going to link it in chat. <laughs> Quite interestingly, it got locked by the threads. Uh, the, the moderators. <laughs> so uh, just let me know when you guys have the clip up and we'll watch it together, okay? I got it up. Right, Lemons, what about you? You got it up? Yep. Right, okay. Three, two, one, go. Big oof on the bear trap already. Oh no, a red flare. It's making a lot of noise. You guys know what's coming <laughs> already in chat. It's just a normal flare. It's just a normal <laughs> flare. <laughs> it's just a spicy flare, that's all it is. Yeah. <laughs> and you could see just before he passes out the the, the gas just starts to appear. <laughs> Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Always be aware of your surroundings. We've still got another minute they to go in this clip. Again. Wait. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> how else is this going to go? How is that, How else is this going to go? <laughs> oh, no. You can't. <laughs> this poor guy. Oh, bless his heart. Yeah. <laughs> We've still got another 40 seconds. <laughs> he 
he's a survivor, I'll tell you that. He, he's he, he's not going to he's give up. He's a fighter. He is a fighter. I would have just clicked fighter. respawn at this point. I would have just been like, you know what? Nah, I'm out. I'm done. I'm dead. Clearly. He does, he does not want to lose that AK. He is very... Uh, <laughs> no, he does not. <laughs> Five cuts. Oh, it's on console as well. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's going to bleed to death. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. No, sorry, One of the dude. moments where you like you stand up, you put your controller down, you just walk away quietly. Everybody's just like, oh. <laughs> bless him. No, no, you you step down, you walk away quietly. Controller making a nice, perfect hole through your wall, you know. Okay, Kyle, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I saw that clip earlier on, and I just knew I had to show you, show everyone, because it was just so funny. Have you noticed that just everything unfortunate is always a console player? Every, yeah. Every, every un unfortunate video is always on console. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's just that's just how it is. That's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> oh lordy lord. But with that, that is going to be the end of tonight's show. Dump lemons. You got any spotlights for us this week? I do actually. The community. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's it's always gonna be a thing, man. Every every, every episode, <laughs> the, every community. Episode gonna be the community. <laughs> but I'd like to shout out the greedy peasant mm -hmm. because a he's a mad lad. Okay, you can't go wrong with that. Um, b the rate of time that he puts shit out like content is I I I don't know. Like imagine lad twenty four hour streams, but lad actually twenty four hour streams. Like, that's what we're talking about here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but no, he's an he's an awesome guy. He's an awesome guy. He does a lot of good stuff for the community. And I look forward to all the new stuff he's doing. Absolutely. Hey, I'm gonna send you off the clip here in the uh, video. There we go. And this, if you want to skip a little bit to the middle, this is his full stream for the last event. But you can skip on into the middle just to get a bit of the um bit of the action that was going on at last night's event. Nice. Oh, flashbang. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so, yep, if anybody wants to watch this, I'm going to post it in chat as well. So you do have the option to give it a good old watch. What about yourself, uh, Dump? I... Don't say the community. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, actually... The developers. Uh... <laughs> no, no, as, as silly as this might be, yeah, follow me, camera. Um, I'm actually going to highlight Lad here. And one of the reasons why I want to highlight Lad is we are now on episode 113. It has been 10 episodes since Lad took over. And I, personally, probably biased because I'm on the show, think Lad is doing a fabulous job. I think we he has steered us to talking more about topics. He is being almost um, as much as he possibly can be unbiased and trying to make sure that when we talk about the topics, we talk about stuff that we know information about and we're not just speculating all the goddamn time. So yeah, from today. my <laughs> shout out is to Lad uh, and this kind of stuff. I, I, I'm really enjoying not only being part of the show, but also the direction Lad is trying to take the show and I'm, I'm loving the hell out of it. But again, I'm probably biased. <laughs> Plus, he hasn't completely imploded yet, so... You could not ask for no. any more, you know? You, you couldn't ask for anything else. <laughs> okay. How many thumbs up can we get in chat about Lad? Come on. Come on, guys. Can, can we get a red nine in chat, guys? Thumbs down. It's fine. Yeah. Th throw me a red nine in chat if you love Lad, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they're all saying once for me wanting to kill myself with, you know, with, uh, you know, 48 hour live stream, so. <laughs> oh my god oh. oh my god to be fair nobody not even me could fully replace boy he's he's a saint he's you know he's he's done so much good stuff but honestly no i i can't do the show without you two i really can't and everybody else on the team and the community no i really genuinely can't the community. i can't i can't do it without <laughs> all you guys it's it has been an honor I, I, it doesn't even feel like 10 episodes at all but you know, it's it it is really nice, and thank you. Uh, I do appreciate that. 
It's going to be really awkward when my when my spotlight isn't you. <laughs> no. <laughs> That would just be like floating each other's egos. Yeah. So my spotlight is dumb. <laughs> no. Oh my um, god, really? <laughs> lad, not is, me. lad is pog champ, but I do miss Boydie's anti walk tangents. Well, you do have the spotlights for, for Boydie's content, so it's always the good mix of both. But I, again, I really do appreciate, you know, people sticking by as I really, really do. It's it's it, it is an honor. Um but my spotlight is actually going to be the Ariana. She's, well, the Ariana and Fish, actually. Um, the Ariana, from what I can understand, is getting married soon, I believe, from the post I've been seeing. So, good luck to her. Really can't wait to see all that. I know she's been talking about wedding stuff lately. I don't know if she's prepping for somebody else's wedding or not. But, um, but Fish as well. You know, she's been going through a bit of a tough time. And I just want to, you know, those two ladies want to share the love. I I accidentally bumped into Fish ages ago when I was just a mere player. You know, not really into the community that much. And she was lovely. Um, playing with her friends, she was absolutely fantastic. And Yariana, she's an absolutely wonderful content creator. She's always down to earth. She's really funny. So definitely give them two a watch. And, you know, definitely watch Queens of the Castle event as well definitely watch it and if we miss it for any reason you gotta let us know how it goes and whoever wins nice and whoever doesn't win good job <laughs> well it better be yellow that's <laughs> all we gotta say clips, folks. <laughs> get lots of clips we wanna see them absolutely absolutely but everybody it's been an honour it's been pro well I wouldn't say it's been one of our longest shows but it's been definitely one of the most really it's been a really good episode. It's been a really it's good. It's been a episode. chunky one. It's been a, it's been a chunky one. <laughs> but it's been lovely. It's been lovely speaking to everyone, getting to, to know everyone. And, you know, different conflicts of opinions and everything like that. But that's what makes it worth it. It's always good to get other people's opinions. Even if you're wrong. <laughs> no, but everybody, <laughs> much love to you. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Dump Lemons, it's been wonderful having you on again. Thank you so much, and it's glad to have both of you back on properly. It's always a pleasure, man. And let's hope yeah. that there's not another not another mass outage. Yeah, don't we leave got our again. fingers crossed. Please, <laughs> yeah. don't leave again. All right, don't leave again. I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go mental if you leave again. All right, I'm gonna go crazy. Anyway, <laughs> again, yeah. thank you so much, you guys. You take care of yourselves, and I shall see you next time. Bye, Good everyone. Take care, buddy. Much love to you all. Well, that was that. <laughs> that was a really good episode. That was really, really nice. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming along. I really, really do appreciate it. It's been really, really wonderful. I just want to say, you know, <sighs> the show is wonderful. It has been absolutely absolutely wonderful having people coming along the show to talk to us tell us all about different stuff and just having a good old time it's been really really nice and I can't wait to talk to more people you know I can't wait to to continue on with the shows to continue on making more content for, you, for everybody here and you know if we say something that's wrong I would love for you to keep us accountable and more importantly, I just want everybody to have fun. I want everybody to have a good time coming to the show, having a laugh, having to just sit down, do what Michael does, have a beer. <laughs> or four or five or six. I lost ten count how many he had. <laughs> but again, it's been absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for coming along. It's been one of the most intense um, episodes. I will covered a lot of different stuff. A lot of speculation for 119, but 119 is going to be a wonderful update. I really can't wait to see what Dancer Jesus makes for us. Um, it's going to be really, really exciting. I want to thank Michael, uh, Melbourne, uh, for all of the donations, uh, the super chats, everything like that. I want to thank DOJ as well, um, for giving us a little bit of a, a little bit, <laughs> you know, making us do a bit of speed running. GeoGuessr has been a f bloody wonderful, but I will have to leave you. I hope you all have a lovely weekend. I hope you all take care of yourselves and... 
We'll see you same time next week. I've got holidays for the next two weeks. I'm definitely going to need them. You all have a good time. You all have a good laugh. Much love to you. Take care.